Well, well, well. I hope you are all snuggled up in a blanket of some kind. Maybe sitting by a fire, perhaps. And you got yourself some snackies and a bevy. Something like that. Um, cause today is gonna be a very <sighs> comfy stream. In case you don't know about this game, it is a murder mystery. Um, about it is a puzzler, it is a murder mystery with a puzzler, and it's a point and click adventure game. Um, and you are a detective, obviously, you're an investigator in the Holocaust department, I guess. I don't know, homicide department, not Holocaust. What the fuck? Ho homicide department, not the Holocaust department. Um, so, yeah, we're, you're, you're a detective, and, um, the only description for this game is that it says, Still Life 2, also now available. That is it. So, yeah, um, that's generally the gist of it. You, there's a serial killer going around killing people, and you are trying to solve the mystery. You're going in, solving puzzles, uh, and solving the case of what this serial killer is and trying to take the culprit down and that's it um that's all there really is to it and uh yeah it's a nice uh, winter game so i hope you had a merry christmas and a happy new year um and this is gonna be the winter the winter game that we are playing I do plan on playing Sanitarium when I get the chance. Whenever that ends up happening. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get it started here. Now, this game is old. This is from 2005. So, a lot of... A lot of the technology probably they use in this game i don't know if it's going to be futuristic or if it's going to be like i don't know i don't know what it is i'm, I'm kind of i'm kind of just i'm just kind of here let me go ahead and do some things real quick first of all let's go ahead and turn off the background and whenever i open this game Okay, there we go. You can see my mouse, correct? Um, hold on. There we go. Okay. So, this is the menu. Very spooky, right? Um, there are subtitles. The gamma is. I, I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, yeah, you can. Why did I do that? Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, let's not fuck with that. <laughs> uh, just volume. Here we go. Turn the music down just a tiny bit. The music is apparently pretty good in this. Okay, that should be fine. All right, let's start the game. <laughs> Stilllife.com, stilllifegame.com. I bet this website isn't even available anymore. All right, let's go ahead and see what the deal is. What the dog doing? Story and dialogue. Mmm. <laughs> There's the killer. We're watching as they drag their first victim off. Ooh. Okay. Very nice. Oh, uh, yes, I want the painting to go here. <laughs> I think I heard her say table. 
think I I heard her say like, I see a temple. Smiley, there's a little smiley face. Yes, we will walk into the middle of this room to say hello to each other. Now we are hanging out. Dead body? Uh, painting still getting painted? Oh my god. Whoa. It's like, uh, the scream or something. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Or... Why is... Oh. Uh-oh. Moon moving. People walking. Her leaving because he has, she has to go do her job because another person was just murdered during the intro cutscene of this game. <laughs> Literally, the very beginning of this game, the intro cutscene, and it already... I can't leave now. I still have work to do. I can't leave now. I still have work to do. I can't leave now. I still have work to do. Okay, fine. Get ready to watch me do that five billion times as a joke. Talk about this, uh, vehicle. I can click myself to go over here. Oh, shit. I accidentally just clicked off of the game. Oops. Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think it's not working now. Shit. This is the problem with, uh, fucking games like this, man. The, uh, they, that, that stuff happens so often. We're like, uh, this is just how, like, older games are. I had to use a program called, um, DX, uh, DXWND to even, apparently... I, I didn't test it prior to using it, but according to some um, some um, tips and guides or whatever, um, they claim that yeah, th in order to run this on Windows 10, you have to use uh, you have to use like um, DXWND. Oh, and I clicked out of it. I think it should be fine as long as it's in the, in the main menu. The issue is that my mouse is being pushed outside of the game, and if I like move it too far out of the game. My mouse will go outside of it because this is technically a window, not a um, full screen kind of thing. So it doesn't lock my mouse into the into this, which is the issue. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to new game again, and then let's just see if we can skip the cutscene. Let's see here. No, we're gonna have to watch it again. Oh my god. You have to watch the cutscene again. <laughs> That's kind of ass. I'm like clicking everything. Tab caps lock? Oh! This shows me the FPS. I'm playing at a thousand FPS. <laughs> what? How do you play this shit at a thousand FPS? There's a table! And I see a table! Reminds me of that one song by, uh... <laughs> but the song Chop Suey. I think that's what it's called. And he's like, table! No, 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 table! No, 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 table! I'm also gonna turn game mode on so the window button doesn't open on my keyboard, which is very nice that this keyboard has. Another, another nice feature, so I- Especially for a game like this, where if I try to do that, it'll literally break the game. I guess jokes on me for not saving immediately prior to this, but... Uh, whatever. Oh my god! Whoa. Look at that painting! That's a painting. And that's a dead person. Huh? Ah, uh, what? There's a call for me? Sorry, babe, but I gotta go. Dead corpse. Night. Get in car. Go to crime scene. I'm here. This time I'm gonna save, if I can. I can't leave now. 
I still have work to do. Can't leave now. I still have work to do. Okay, let me save the game. There we go. Okay. Oh shit. Wait, briefing files. Hold on. Um, City of Chicago Police Department Investigators Narrative. Case number 2004, um, 07781, Descendant Rosalind um, Sheka. Information Source, Arthur Lee, Maintenance Worker, University of Chicago. Two, Thomas um, Creighton. Um, Thomas Creighton, Security Guard, University of Chicago. Officer Victor Chow, CPD 7th, 312, then the phone number extension 203. And then the investigation. Here we go. <clears throat> Arthur Lee flagged my patrol car at the corner of Barkley and um, Wharton. Highly uh, agitated, Lee reported the discovery of an unidentified woman's body in the staff washroom of the University of Chicago's o Adult Education Services Building. Okay. The location, death, Adult uh, Education Services Building, University of Chicago. Interesting. Okay. Um, okay, so right-click is go back, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's go back to the files here. So that was the first victim, which was, um, Rosalind Cheka. I think that's how you say her name. Okay, this is Elizabeth, um, Walmsley. So far, it's been two women so far. Information. Okay, these are the descendants. Uh, employer, Patrick, uh, O'Connell. Detective, Menzies, CBD. Okay. Edward, Sizal, resident. Okay. Investigation. Edward Sizo. I think that's how you say that. Sizo? Or is it. S yeah, it's, I think it's Sizo. Um, placed a call with 911 reporting a body. Oh, I can use the scroll wheel. Okay. Reporting a body submerged in the rooftop swimming pool of his apartment building at 1112. Um, or sorry, 112 um, Mosley. Assigned the call. I arrived with Detective Menzies. Uh, and proceeded to the rooftop. The descendant was uh, found floating in the swimming pool. Hmm. Okay. Uh, retrieved the body. Uh, the descendants appeared to have drowned while talking or taking a late night swim. Hmm. These are all in Chicago, it seems. Nice. Never been there. City of Chicago, yeah, 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 okay. Um, Aaron Martinez, uh, lab partner. Marilyn Katz, which is a neighbor, and then a patrolman, Ryan. Investigation. On Wednesday at the, at 9, 19.02 hours, so that's, like, 7 o'clock? 7.02? Um, right? Is that there? Yeah, that's 7.02. Um, <clears throat> Marilyn Katz, the descendant's uh, neighbor, placed a call to this office reporting the death of the descendant. Patrolman Ryan was dispatched to the investiga uh, to investigate. The descendant was found in her apartment, partially submerged in her bathtub. I was called in to examine the scene. This is the fourth victim? Let me check. Oh, shit, there's more information for each one. Okay, so we read this one. This one was, um, was killed in the washroom of the university. Witness statements. Officer Chow, um, took Lee's statement. Lee indicated that he found the descendant, uh, in the staff washroom while conducting his usual cleaning rounds, spotting a single woman's, uh, shoe on the floor of the washroom and saw the descendant prone um the rightmost stall unable to reach a 911 operator lee then left the campus where he uh, we encountered him lee claimed that the building closes by um by like nine o'clock is that what that is no yeah nine o'clock um nine uh 21 hours 
or sorry, 21,000. I don't know why they don't have like the little thing there. 21 hours. Most um, weeknights and the staff are typically out by 22 o'clock. Okay. Scene description. The scene, the descendant was prone kneeling with her head in the toilet. Bull face submerged tears in the descendant's clothing indicated a struggle, but gave no indication of a sexual assault. The descendant's blouse was um, pulled up over her head, likely to pin her arms to restrict her ability to resist. Evidence. Fingerprints and hair and fiber work uh, collected by... Um, forensics, uh, a partial footprint on the hem of the, de 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 the descended skirt was fo uh, photographed, okay? Body examination. The descendant des uh, sustained bruising of around the head, likely from contact with the rim of the toilet bowl. Deep bruises around the throat indicate that the descendant was forcibly drowned. Tears in the descendant's skirts indicate the descendant was attempt uh, attempted to resist her attack, okay? Her attacker. Okay. Identification. The descendant was positively uh, identified by campus security guard Thomas Creighton. Creighton. Uh, next of kin uh, notification. The descendant was married with no children. Legal next of kin is husband John Maxson, who was notified by telephone. Uh, tissue donation, none requested. Autopsy notification, none. Al um, Alfredo Bertoli? And then this is the last bit of it. Shady of Chicago autopsy report witnesses. Chicago Police Department officers. Oh, there's my friend playing Gary's mod. Department officer Victor Chow was uh, present at the autopsy. Opinion. The cause of death is drowning. Blunt trauma to the head, likely the result of these descendant struggles. While bruising of the throat and larynx, the result of the assailant's efforts to choke or control the descendant. Both um, occurred prior to death. Um, semen was found in the descendant. Ooh, okay. Um, but there were no indications of forced. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> to uh, tox toxicolo uh, to toxicology. Okay, toxicology uh, test revealed both an elevated blood alcohol level, zero point twelve. Okay. Um, and the presence of rofinol, uh, which combined with alcohol, would likely have incapacitated the descendants. Trace uh, levels of THC were also detected. The mode of death is homicide. Barry Jefferson date, medical examiner. Uh, examiner. Man, imagine having to do that shit all the time. My god. Yeah, that, that was fucked up. And then this one is probably also just as fucked up. Let's see here. Um, witness statements, Sizau reported that, um, he went for his customary morning swim and found the descendant who he thought, um, he had seen before floating in the, uh, in floating nude in the pool. Consulting the apartment directory, he identified Patrick O'Connell as the descendant's probable employer. O'Connell confirmed that the descendant's identity and confirmed that she worked for him in the capacity of uh live-in domestic okay scene description the citizen's closing with clothing was found in the adjacent shower the pool is heated and enclosed neighboring buildings do not overlook the pool evidence fingerprints hair and fiber negative body uh, examination bruising of the throat suggests that the descendant was forcibly drowned the descendant um exhibited a number um, of uh, scratches presumed to be inflicted by the assailant's uh, fingernails during a struggle. Identification. The descendant was positively identified by the descendant's employer, uh, Patrick O'Connell. Okay. Um, the next of kin notification, the descendant was uh, unmarried with no children and had no known next of kin. Tissue donation, none requested. Autopsy notification, none. Okay. And then Department of Coroner Autopsy Report. Okay, witness CPD, uh, CPD Detective Frederick uh, Barclay was present 
at the autopsy opinion. The cause of death is drowning by total immersion, bruising of the throat, and results of the assailant's efforts to choke or control the descendant, scratches arms, also um, torso, and face likely inflicted by the assailant during the murder both occurred prior to death. Uh, no evidence of sexual assault. Um, it looks like there was, in fact, alcohol in their body. 0 0.14. Presence of uh, ro rofinol. I don't know why I could say that before. Ro rofinol. Ro rofinol? I think that's what it is. Rofinol. Uh, which combined alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mode of death, homicide. Okay. So that's basically the exact, almost the exact same way. This one was submerged in a bathtub this time. Whew. I need to turn off some stuff, so I'm gonna finish reading this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go in offline mode and see if that changes like not getting notified by people. That'd be great. Just popping up in my thing. Um, witness statements. Patrolman Ryan stated that he had taken the witness, um, Marilyn Katz, uh, depo uh, dep deposition, de deposition, de deposition, indicating that she had noticed uh, water dripping from the descendant's apartment located directly above her own. When the descendant did not answer, she entered the apartment using a spare key entrusted to her by the descendant. The descendant was found partially submerged in her bathtub. Katz claimed to have shut off the faucet, which was still running when she entered the bathroom. The descendant appeared to be dead, so Katz called 911. Katz identified the descendant as Shannon um, Bream, uh, 22, a student at the University of Chicago. That's kind of weird. Uh, everybody who's being attacked is kind of related to the University of Chicago. While investigating, the descendant's lab partner, Aaron Martinez, uh, arrived claiming that he had, um, he and the descendant were scheduled to work on an assignment together. Both witnesses um, were of the opinion that the descendant was in good mental health and unlikely suicide candidate. Scenes of uh, description. The descendant's apartment uh, showed no sign of forced entry indicating that she might have known the killer. A desk lamp was found broken on the floor and textbooks scattered around it were only um, were the only signs of struggle. Evidence, fingerprints and hair and fiber work collected by forensics, shoe prints found leaving the apartment measured and photographed. Body examination, bruising of the throat area suggests that the descendant was forcibly drowned. Next of kin was unmarried, no children. Next level of kin was father, Vincent um, Bream, 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 uh, who was uh, notified by telephone. None requested autopsy notification. Okay, let's see here. Chicago police presented an ops autopsy, drowning, bruising in the throat, force. Yep. Um, even more alcohol than before from the last person, at least. And then the same way with uh, Rofinol. Uh, um, homicide. Yep. Okay. And the fourth one. Eric Adler was um, dispatched by the Chicago Power Company to investigate and repair a power outage in the Waveland um, Avenue area. Adler descended into the sewer system to locate the problem and found the victim. They were in the sewers? Adler called 911. The uh, ambulance crew dispatched uh, subsequently uh, called the police. Okay. The descendants was found with a pillowcase matching those found in the victim's bedroom where one pillow had been stripped. Uh, okay. Family secured a, er, about her face. Adler claimed to, uh, to have torn it open during his attempts to, um, resuscitate? Resuscitate? Sorry, resuscitate. The the descendant. Uh, the, descendant. the apartment uh, superintendent, Robert Jackson, lives in the basement of the building next to the victim's apartment. He was questioned and indicated 
um, indicated that he um, heard no unusual noises, but uh, admitted that he had been watching television and might have missed any but the loudest noises. Jackson claimed that the victim seemed happy and had no history of domestic disputes that he was aware of. The sewer walkway had no signs of struggle. The body was dragged along the walkway near an electric power grid that was sabotaged. The victim was already dead and was dumped at this location. So this is the one that we literally saw in the intro. Due to a certain amount of blood at the location of the body, it is our belief that the victim was eviscerated at this location and not at her apartment the descendant's apartment showed no sign of, of forced entry forced entry no evidence of violent struggle blood traces on the lip of the bathtub and floor tiles partially wiped away leaving bloody smears um the assault began here and death occurred here the body was uh then brought to the sewer location Fingerprints, blood samples, and hair fiber were collected by forensics, and torn pill case was collected for further analysis. Um, Bruzy of the throat area as a crushed trachea suggests that the descendant was strangled, possibly using the pillowcase as a ligature. Uh, identification Meredith um, Ken Kenworth, Meredith Kenworth, her mother positively identified the descendant. Next of kin notification: the descendant was unmarried and had no children. Legal next of kin was mother. Um, and okay. Autopsy: FBI uh, Special Agent Victoria McPherson, which is who we are playing as, was present at the autos uh, autopsy. Opinion: the cause of death is drowning, bruising of the throat and damage of the trachea occurred prior to the death um, and were inflicted by the pill case used as a ligature. Um, evisceration performed post-mortem and would unquestionably have proved fatal as well. Uh, and then, of course, same thing, same level of alcohol as like the second victim. Um, Rofenol, uh, which combined alcohol, yep. A homicide, and there we go. We have read all of them. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to save the game again. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Alt-Tab. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go offline. Um, offline mode is used when you're about to unplug your laptop or otherwise expecting not to be connected to the internet. Many features such as friends, server browsers. Yeah, yeah, restart in offline mode, which means I'm gonna have to shut down the game and go to offline mode instead. That should be good, okay. Let's go ahead and go back to the game. And we shouldn't be running into any issues with, like, notifications popping up. Other than access Steam friends. Oh, sure. I'll, let me just hit tab. Oh, wait. Never mind. I'm playing offline, you idiot. Okay. Here we go. That was a lot of information. Now I still have work to do. It's a lot of information, but it was worth it. Looks like someone's in dire need of coffee. Hell yeah! Here you are. Thanks. This gonna hit the spot. You know, you're not like those other suits, Miss McPherson. You okay in my book. Yeah, um... So, are you the human popsicle yet? Can you believe this fucking weather? I mean, shit! It was 60 yesterday! And can you believe all this goddamn snow? His mouth is not supposed to do that. Shit. You know how hard it was getting here? I think because I'm playing at such a such a high resolution in FPS that the mouth is like freaking out because the mouth is supposed to be moving it's supposed to be more animated but it isn't the with the characters. So yeah, that's a little same old shit. It just looks like their jaw is breaking into their like head. 
When I got here, I'm probably going to be seeing this the entire game. So I didn't bother reporting it to everyone. I, I just called Miller. It's like anime. Besides you, who got here first? Miller did about ten minutes ago. Claire followed a few minutes later. Miller got here first, huh? Did he do it again? Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, Claire is pissed as hell, too. She threw him out into the hallway. Where's the crime scene? The crime scene is through the entrance, up the stairs and to your right. Miller will be the chicken shit leaning up against the fridge. Miss McPherson, be careful in there. I need a tetanus shot just looking at this place. Well, okay. I guess I'll head up and see how Miller's doing. Okay, Agent McPherson. You watch yourself in there. Thanks, officer. I actually don't know his name. Let's go in. Welcome. Blum, blum. Okay, so we can't go that way, but we can go up here, I guess, right? Nice. Okay. Let's check what's over here. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Let's take a gander down this way first. Hmm. I absolutely love what they've done here. The view is just super. Uh, I absolutely love what they've done here. The view why? is just super. Why is she talking like that? <laughs> Silly game. This door's been nailed shut. Nice work, too. Ha ha ha. Nice work. So this is, um, Victoria is her name, I guess. So Victoria here, I guess, is very sarcastic. But in, like, the worst way possible. That is very cheesy. Wow, you remind me of when I was at the academy. One day I decided to run the obstacle course after lunch. I lost everything, even my breakfast. It was a gruesome mash of pizza and French toast. If you're trying to help me, it's not working. Here you are. You might make things pass more smoothly. <sighs> then again, maybe not. Miller, you're going to have to stop trying. You and Dead. Oh my God, donuts. her mouth. I suggest you wait for us next time. We can't risk any more donut contaminated crime scenes. Yes, I will, Agent McPherson. Oh, by the way, stop with the Agent McPherson, please. Just plain Victoria's fine, all right? We'll do, Victoria. So what can you tell me? It's our guy's work, all right. The victim's in an old bathtub. She's stuck in ice. I couldn't see much. Thank God. Just out of morbid curiosity, where did the Martians land this time? I hurled in the toilet. Can we change the subject? Jeez, that would bring you to 2-0. and oh. Claire must be very happy right now. Actually, no, she isn't. I think she wants to kill me. She threatened to tie me to your 4x4 four four and drag me through the streets. Okay, then. Jesus. <laughs> so where's Claire? Old Indian saying, follow stench. Find little pale-faced fat woman. Whoa. Christ, Miller. I'm really not in the mood. Sorry. She's in the bathroom. Follow the hallway Whoa, to the end. Whoa, best ahoy. To your left. She's working near the body. I think she needs you to take a look at the rest of the apartment. Here, take the camera. Claire doesn't want me around, so you're going to have to take pictures, too. Oh, thanks, Point Dexter. Oh, I got a camera. Wonderful. Take it easy. See you in a bit. Okay, so we have just a bunch of random stuff here. Let's see. Lucy, you have some splaining to do. Yeah, that's ha ha ha. Probably belongs to the victim. Only time she's serious whenever it's actually talking about the the crime scene. Yeah, step over this it. Is that's a good. Nice pile of junk. Okay. 
No wait, no wait. Let's look at this. Weird, a clean spot in such a messy place. Ah ha 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 ha. Look, it's the it's the intro. Weird, a clean spot in such a messy place. This is not a clean spot. What are you talking about? You know full well that pla this place is not clean. Rhett! 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 <laughs> Yo, that Rhett's bussing though. That Rhett sure is bussing. It looks like someone used this nail as a coat hanger. Nice Christmas decorations. What? How can he be so, so chipper in this situation? She carries her stuff around in that. Thanks. Now we know that this is Claire's briefcase. That must mean this is Claire. That must mean this is Claire. So, what's all the fuss about? Let's see. I have an idiot who throws up at a crime scene. I'm understaffed because I'm the only one crazy enough to work during the holidays. I'm freezing my butt off. The body is stuck in ice and what else? This might actually help. Coffee? Yes, please. It's no wonder you were my best student. Thanks, Claire. Hey, maybe you should take it easy with Miller. Take it easy. This is the second time I have to go through his vomit to see if there's any evidence hidden in the pile. Take it easy? No, I don't think so. What can I do to help? Have a look around and gather any evidence that you can find. I've wasted enough time getting this body ready for the meat wagon. You know how they can get pissy. Anyway, I thought I saw some blood stains. <laughs> you can start Monty Python? That and then look around for more. Remember, always take a picture before you collect something. To help you out, grab the forensic tools from my briefcase and what's left of the kitchen. Once you've collected the evidence, come and help me out in here. You do know I'm a field agent, right? I think this is a little out of my league. Vic McPherson is out of her league? This is a first? Where did that come from? I don't know. I think I need a vacation. Sweetie, you can't always catch them on the first three victims. I know, I know. Thanks for helping out. My pleasure, Clarice. Oh, stop that. Oh, stop that. <laughs> so it looks like we have more stuff that's been written down here. Who's the last coffee for? Who did we miss? There's someone that we're missing if we haven't even gotten the other person a coffee. A little concerning. I still have work to do. Well, what about the fucking coffee? Okay, hold on. Go over here. Go this way. Hmm. Okay, so the coffee's for her. Got it. Cool. Oh, okay. There it goes. Uh, okay, so we have a couple items here. Okay. Alright, okay. Interesting, okay. So we have some stuff to look at. We have one, one thing that we can really look at right now that I feel like we could actually do something with. Obviously this area doesn't have much at the moment, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and go this way. And obviously the first thing we should look at is this blood. Not getting a sample by dipping my finger in it. I need a tool. Yeah. Not getting a sample by dipping yeah, yeah. my finger in it. I need a tool. So we open up our thing here. Actually, I'm going to do this real quick. Let's go ahead and let's grab a swab 
forensic swab. Just put that right there. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll take pictures before you take samples. Here you go. It would help if I loaded the camera with film first. Shut the fuck up. You know what? Fuck you. Okay, fine. You're right. I could have put the film in there. There. You happy? What else do you want me to combine? The fucking tweezers? This is a tray for samples, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So we took pictures of it, right? Okay. So I is also inventory. Let's go ahead and take swabs. So we have one thing of, of that. Okay, that's good. Looks like our perp cleaned up after himself. Ah. Aha. I think I see something. Can't see anything in this sort of light. Okay, so we need, we need like a light of some kind. What if we use the camera? I can't use that here. Okay. So let's take this and let's I move the light. Before I can use this properly. You need a tool? What, tweezers? Or the fucking black light filter? Okay. Oh, shit. Sanctropy. No, wait. Sank? San? Tr That's supposed to be a K? Or is that supposed to be a San less than Tori? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Same. All right, let's collect samples. Let's fucking collect samples, baby. Use that here. Shit. Okay. Fine. Let's use uh. Let's use tweezers on it. Can't use that here. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh. I don't need to do this again. Okay. So I didn't even need to do that originally. I just kind of, fucking. I did that early. Let's go ahead and grab that black light filter again. We're gonna need it for the next area. I can only assume there's stuff going on in this room that we don't know yet, so we're gonna go ahead and apply the black light filter to... Oh, we're gonna actually have to go up to it first and then use it. I need a tool before I can use this properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. And then let's go ahead and we're gonna look at this wall here. Very clean. Let me use this bad boy. That should hopefully clean it up. Let's see. There it is. Disturbed. What the fuck? <laughs> That's all she has to say about it. <laughs> Disturbed. Nice. That graffiti looks great with the black light on. All right, let's take a picture of it. No? Okay. Okay, so it's just her commenting on it, I think. I don't think there's anything we can really do here. Okay. I will say there's probably more going on in the next room with the babies hanging from the, from the ceiling over here. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Can I put this on here? No. Okay, so maybe there isn't? Bingo. We've got hair and fiber samples. That's good. Okay. I 
can't use my hands to collect these. Yeah, I, I'm aware. I was just seeing what else you'd say. Okay. Um. All right. Let's go ahead and wait. No, 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 no. Go back to looking at it. Let's use the camera first, and then we'll go ahead and do it. I don't want to be bitched at again. And then we'll go ahead and grab it with the tweezers. Go ahead and tweeze that out. Very good. Got some hair fibers. Very nice. Okay. Huh. Wait, what? I thought I heard something there. Alright, looks like we got a lot of samples out of this, which is good. Um, I found a bunch of shit. I think I'm pretty much done almost everything I could, unless there's this light here. I can't do anything with that, so let's just have a chat with her again, just sure to see. I saw more evidence that still needs to be collected. Ooh, you know, let's go back. That's where it is. They want us to go back to the other rooms that we missed out before. Over here. I can't leave now. I still have work to do. What do you mean? Okay. How about we go to this? I don't need to take another sample. How about we use this on it? No? Hmm. Well, then there's... There, there, there has to be something in... Oh, this. This is a nice pile of junk. Wait a second. Hold on. Come over here. And then, um... Put... Put this filter on it. And then come over to this. This is a nice pile of junk. No, there's something about it. There has to be. Let's see. What about the blood? Does the blood look different? I don't need to take another sample. Okay, so I guess not. Hmm. There's something about this that I'm not No? Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just overthinking it. Is there something in this room that I'm missing as well? There's the weird, like, devil sign going on down here. Oh, the blood! I didn't see this. Not getting a sample by dipping my finger in it. I need a tool. Okay, Not hold on. A no. By dipping my finger in it. I need, I a, need tool. a tool. Come over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a picture of it first. Very good. And then let's go ahead and get a sample. Nice. Okay. So we got two samples out of that. That's good. I think we're good. Now. I'm done. Good. Go put what you collected in my briefcase and come back here. I still need your help. All right. What do you want me to do now? I don't need to do this again. Okay, all done and neatly packed. Great. Thanks a lot, sweetie. So, what's next? I need some shots of the body before we move things around and disrupt the original crime scene. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> no, tell me so far. Not much right now. Probably like the other four. Cause of death is drowning, but I'll make it official after the autopsy. She was stabbed numerous times and she was eviscerated. Nothing indicates a struggle or resistance on the part of the victim. My guess is she was unconscious during the stage of the assault. Can you walk me through what happened here? Not now. I'd rather do preliminary lab work first and also analyze the evidence he picked up. I'll give you a briefing when I finish a few tests. Okay. I think you can remove the cloth from her face now. Aw, oh, you spoil me. Here we go. Prepare for maybe booby, perhaps?
<gasps> okay. Oh my god, look at the tattoo work on her skin. This girl like pain. I have a feeling she's a pro. I don't know why. Just call it a hunch. Which would be a first according to the killer's MO and profile. I'll run the victim's name through the database to see if we hit something. What's her name? According to the ID in her purse, it's Cynthia Woods. Now, can you take her picture without the rag on her face? Do you still need me here? Not really. <laughs> I just enjoy the company. But I can see you'd rather be somewhere else. Listen, I can handle things here on my own till the boys get here. Anyhow, you look tired as hell. Oh, thanks for letting me off the hook. But seriously, if you need me, I'll stay. It's fine, sweetie, really. You're not completely off the hook. I'll see you back at the morgue for my briefing. I wouldn't miss it for the world. See you soon. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. I am not searching the corpse. Actually, okay, hold on. Oh. My God, she was badly beaten. Time to collect samples. I don't need to take another shot of this. Okay. There's a toilet it's here. Miller's little Martians. Can I take a picture of it? <laughs> okay. Let us head forth. Look at the cat. Ha! <laughs> meow meow. <laughs> That wasn't really a good comment to make while you were in a, you know, a situation where you could have died. There's no way I'm going down that way. I'm going to have to look for another way out of here. Okay, I'll wait here in case Claire decides to go down or someone tries to come up. Okay. Let's try the barred door that we couldn't go into. This is the un University of Chicago. It looks kind of like Boston. I absolutely love what they've done here. The view is just super. Good idea. All I need now is something to pry these boards off. Hmm. I don't think I have anything. So I need to go find something to pry them off. Unless I straight up just used my hands, which I don't have. So I need to go back and find a crowbar. Because, yeah, we're going to need to find a crowbar. Okay. This game does have puzzles, by the way. Just, Just hold on. I might have to actually go, yeah, I might have to actually go back just to ask for a crowbar. Or I can just ask this guy. I'm going to have to look for another way out of here. Okay, I'll wait here in case Claire decides mm. to go down or someone tries to come up. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're going to have to go ask for a tool in here. Or just find one somewhere. Like this pile of junk. Or this piece of stick. Rusty fucking stick from a. Okay. I feel like we're gonna need more than this. I don't think there's much I could do with this. A lead pipe. I don't think I could do much with this. I I don't think this could pry off anything. So we're gonna have to do maybe look for something else. Cause I don't think this would work. I mean I could try it, but then I'd have to make a trip back. 
Let me take one more look around just to get an idea and maybe I'll find something else. Um, hmm. I don't recall seeing her comment about anything else out of the ordinary. Um, Kitty? Hmm. Uh, okay. I could probably maybe ask for something. Maybe that would work. Maybe there's something in here that I, I can use? Okay. Let me go in here and talk to her about it. Bring it up. Hey, what the hell was that noise? The stairs fell apart. If you're planning on leaving, don't take the stairs. I'm trying to find another way out. Ah, oh, great. Now how the hell are we supposed to get the body out of here? I don't know. You guys will figure it out. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Okay, so yeah, there's nothing really here that I could use. As far as I can tell, so okay. I guess we'll just move on then. I guess this one, like, shitty lead pipe that has, that's been rusted over, I guess will do the job somehow. Alright, let's go. And there's nothing else in that pile of junk. And I can tell. can click on. Alright. Well, well, well. Back at it again, old... Like, random door. How? How? Jesus. Holy shit! She fucking kicked it! Oh my god! It looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Okay. Man, that's smart. God, Miller, are you okay? <laughs> Do you think he's okay? Yeah. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> Do you think he's okay? Yeah. <laughs> He's fine. There is no way I'm going up there. Damn. All right. Anyways, I could take a picture of that. Let's see, can I take a picture of that? There is no way I'm going up there. Huh, get close. Let's take a picture of it. There is no way I'm going up there. Okay, never mind then. Thought that would be kind of interesting, but I guess not. Do we have any other um, information? right now like anything that we could use prologue okay so this is actually a whole chapter oh my god there's actually a whole information right now okay chapter one the anatomy lesson another day at the office news about the appeal claire being a sweetheart um browning being a prick and of course, stacks and stacks of files. Weren't computers supposed to create a 
paperless office, notes, photos, reports, and more notes. Looking at their handwriting makes me think of uh, of these guys. Um, makes me think some of these guys should have become doctors instead. I can't say I'm thrilled with their methods either. But then what do I know? I'm the one who violated proper procedure um, in New Orleans. And speaking of New Orleans, I wonder how Claire feels about working a case with me again. She just um, she just came by again with a few more details about the Kenworth drowning. Uh, not much, really, barely worth a personal visit. Um, but that's Claire for you. She's a mother. She can't help it. And uh, she knows that working on this profile is the only interesting thing I do all day. I think I'm ready to call Kenworth and fourth one, uh, Kenworth the fourth one. Uh, even though this one's more violent than the last three, I'm hoping our killer isn't escalating. Fifth victim. Looks like my fears were right. He's escalating. Uh oh. <laughs> escalator. Eo. Escalator. 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 <laughs> Fucking <sighs> escalating. I was just supposed to be seeing uh, Richard tonight after he was done at the gallery, but I just knew when the phone rang that wasn't going to happen. What's the weather? Um, I don't know. I don't know what the weather is. So, let me check. I think it's cold. <laughs> I think it's it is in fact cold. <laughs> but i just knew that the phone ring wasn't going to happen he'll probably um give me a hard time about it too but it's um it's his own fault for being so secretive about this brand new e exhibit of his i'm going to have to make time to go see it when it, um when it opens which ought to be fun while I'm investigating a fresh body. Beats being stuck behind the desk, though. Okay. Introducing Officer Tate. Officer Tate was waiting for me, although, um... Wait, all rough around the edges as usual. He's kind of sweet, though in his all shucks, ma'am, um, kind of way. Uh, he rarely calls me special agent. Always Miss um, McPherson. Uh, not even Mrs. Or, sorry, Miss. Wait, Mrs.? Oh, sorry, Miss McPherson. Not, not even Mrs.? Or Miss? No, that's Mrs. is the... MRS. I don't know what the fuck that is. MS. What? There's not a lot of people who could get away with that. He's a good cop. Um, I'm glad things worked out for him. Hey, mister. Ooh, ooh. Uh, introducing Miller. Miller was already there when I arrived, too. Talk about the other side of the spectrum from Tate. Miller lost his lunch again. I can understand the first time. Nobody's ever really ready for the first. But two in a row um, is not good. Uh, he has potential. He's smart and competent. But he's off to a rocky start. Tate laughed his ass off, of course. And Claire was pissed. I guess um, we were all kind of edgy in our own way. 
Victim number five. Introducing Claire. Good old Claire. She has me work the scene, get the rust off, finally uh, paroled from Warden uh, Browning's jail. I almost shouted Merry Christmas. It felt so good to be back. But every time um, I felt that way, I remembered the, the dead naked sliced up girl in the icy bathtub. And that kind of brought me back to reality. Another mother um, is going to be planning a family get together around the casket um, this Christmas. Uh, modus operandi or operandi i think that's what that says um this perp's getting worse no question he's covering their faces now and kicking the shit out of her is also new the blood on the walls what's next um introducing officer tate i think we read this Officer Tate was waiting for me, although around the edges as usual. He's kind of sweet, though, and is... Uh, okay. Why did they write this twice? And then this is uh, every conversation we've had so far. Okay. That's good. Cool. <clears throat> Let us head back to wherever we're going. The office? I guess we're going to the office. Damn, trucks with uh lights on them. That's cr that's kind of kind of kind of based. Why can I specifically investigate this car? Thank God I'm not driving that piece of crap. Is this her old car or what? Does she like the truck? I mean, I don't know. Well, do I guess the other ones aren't old pieces of crap anymore, except... Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, anyways. Basement one. So I can go to basement two. Why can I go to basement two specifically? I'm kind of curious now. <laughs> meow meow. Oh, autopsy shit. Okay. Okay. So we will be coming here. I'm going to go to my office then first. A reanimator deck. They're wicked. <laughs> My God, it stinks in there. I don't know how to feel. I always found it kind of weird that like places like offices give you the smallest fucking trash can that they possibly can give you. It's a pain in the ass. Let's go ahead and go to our office real quick. Where's the music? Did I not even let you listen to music? There's so many rooms. Hold on, wait, stop, stop, stop. Door. Door. It's the evidence shoot. It's the evidence shoot. It's the evidence shoot. It's the evidence shoot. I don't need to do that. Sure. I guess you want to keep the photos to yourself. Ah, oh, there he is. So this must be my office. Desk over here. Why did you take so long getting here? You're the only one with a 4x4. Four four. Christ, I don't even want to go there. I mean, what is it with these idiots who buy 20 lottery tickets anyway? I mean, do they really have to waste everyone's time? God, they piss me off. I just wanted a pack of gum, too. Hey, last time I saw you, you were limping to your car. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just my ego. It got hurt more than me, I think. 
Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Is everything okay with your girlfriend? Oh yeah, forget about it. She knows now it's a big misunderstanding. But just don't answer my cell phone again, please. I promise. So what are you up to? I started the report. I figured you were too pooped to do it. You know, Miller, you do have your moments. Anything I can do to help with the report? Actually, yes. I need Claire's preliminary report to help me out. I'm not going down there. She might lock me up in one of the drawers and leave me there. Also, I need the pictures you took. So could you please drop the camera in the evidence chute in the hallway? Well, okay. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, well, well. Me, the person who was going to do it before they even were told to do it, was going to do it. And guess what? I got screwed. Plastifier. This little machine can be very practical. I don't know what it does, but this all right. This is used to lift fingerprints. Okay. This is used to lift fingerprints. This is used to lift fingerprints. This is used to lift fingerprints. What are these used? Found your taser. Pro Promise. Wait, what does that say? I don't know what that says. This is a pen. This is a document. This is a sink. You use this. It's a paper cutter. It's a paper cutter. <laughs> this is my employer. This is one of my employees' desks. This is my desk. This is my. De oh my god! Look at that keyboard. Pog. Oh my god, that is a fucking keyboard. Look at this computer screen with like the camera here. This is so stupid. <laughs> this, is, this is so dumb. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh. 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 Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. about the fifth murder i expect a full report on my desk tomorrow morning yes you would wouldn't you i expect an entire report as in i want the entire case solved as well uh so uh go do that i want the entire fucking case solved by morning get to work the no extra pay locked, of course. <laughs> no overtime or holiday pay <laughs> Get to work. Right now. I want to see what's over here. Oh, <gasps> coffee. Give me something good to eat, baby. Give me some of that coffee. That yo, 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 yo. Okay, well, that didn't work. I and no use for napkins. you use them to clean shit. Yes, you do have use for napkins. I never work without coffee. Of course, when it comes to this coffee, I'll make an exception. Oh. Okay, so she hates the normal coffee. She hates work coffee. Oh, mug, give me it. Give me the mug. It's my boss's coffee mug. Should I? Nah. You sure? Come on, take it. Come on, you can make some coffee. Should I? Do it. Nah. Ah, oh, you bitch. Okay, fine. That's fine, Victoria. You're you're cool. You're you're a gamer. You got this. Alright, evidence. It's time. Drop that puppy in there. Cool. And then also, I guess, open this? What is this? Oh, it's for Victoria's dad. Okay. So it's not even from me. Oh, it says right there. Security card to gain access to the morgue. So I couldn't even even gone down there anyways. So yeah, it was a good idea for me to come up here first. Before we went down. Very good. Hello? Agent McPherson. Officer Tate? Agent Ashby wants to see you. She's waiting for you at the morgue. All Correct. Right. So, how did you guys get the body down? Me and some of the forensic guys set up a ladder where the stairs fell. 
Oh, well, I hope no one got hurt. Nope, I know what y'all mean, though. That place was as stable as lemmings near a cliff. Thanks, Officer Tate. He just kind of sits there? Okay. Hmm. Ah, shit. Can I open the door? Can I? Can I set something up? section. I don't have permission to go there. Okay. Well, I was kind of thinking to just go back to um, ask him some questions, but if he had any, but uh. Oh, bathroom. Wait, post. Oops. To find out who the gunman was behind the grassy knoll, please call 555-1963. Now that's tasteless. Tasteless? I never use mixed public washrooms. They're just too icky. Uh. Okay. Well. I want to see, is there anything else I can click on? Oh. Here we go. There's something right here. That's the room I was just in. That's a little odd. Why is that specifically only the one that we can look at? Yeah, okay, well. This is a whoa, 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 whoa. Miss December, wow. Even God would say, I didn't make those. Haha. Huh? That's so funny. I right, go to this. And then let's go ahead and swipe our little card. Cool. Let's head on in. That's weird. My access code doesn't work. I I did the thing though. Hold on. Do I need to I need an access card. No, you have an access card. I used it, but Wait, what's her code? What's your code? Security card memo. Badge 5903. Okay, I think that's the password. No longer valid since the security procedures have changed. Enter your PIN. Never disclose your PIN under any circumstances. 5903. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's see. Let's see how smart I am. Wait. I need an access card. Wait, hold on. Five. I. Um. Shit. Okay, so I need to do... Okay, so I thought that was the... So 5903 is not the password. Please find enclosed... Place with security access card. Okay, so wait, hold on. Let me take a look at this card again. Ah, 583? No vodka. Is that it? 583? Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try. So, grab this. Swipe it. Or is it literally spell vodka? Wait. Hold on. We do this, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, so 
vodka. I think that's the code? Okay. V O D Okay, fuck you too. V O D A No shit. V O D K A There we go. I solved the mystery. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have some stuff to look at here. This is probably Claire's report, but I'll hear what she has to say before I take it. Okay. I just wanted to look at some stuff here, but I guess we'll just go ahead and talk to her. Wait, let's look at this, and then we'll talk to her. I could see if I have some metachlorians in my blood. My god, that was weak. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Claire, get that preliminary lab work done? As a matter of fact, I'm not quite finished. However, I have enough <sighs> to brief you on if you have the time. For you, always. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, here goes. <sighs> the victim's blood revealed high levels of alcohol. Also, I have <sighs> traces of rohypnol, which is also known as the date rape drug. Rohypnol, that's the name no of it. There was apparent struggle throughout the assault. Rohypnol. The assault started in the first room where she was beaten. She probably fell when you found the spot of blood. She was then carried into the next room. The killer ripped off her clothes and beat her again. She definitely was unconscious at this point. He let her bleed on the floor until he had enough blood to write the messages you found using the luminol. killer then cleaned off the messages. Obviously, he knew we would find them. He then dragged the victim by her hair along the hallway and stopped to hang up his coat. He finally brought her into the bathroom. The cause of death was drowning. He forced her head under the water until death ensued. Like the other victims, she was killed before the mutilations. She was stabbed nine times and then eviscerated from the lower sternum to the lower abdomen. What are you thinking? Uh-oh. I'm thinking these mutilations will get worse. It wasn't part of his MO for the first three victims. If they were found beaten and drowned, they'll... Boopa. Yes. <laughs> They're on activation. Boopa. No, I don't think so. Drawing Grow up. victim seems to be his focus. That person's fucking dead. Very important to him. No. The stabbing business is from something else. I have a feeling that if we knew what it was, we would catch the son of a bitch. Also, he covered the face of the fourth victim and now this one. This strongly suggests that he knew the last two victims. I'll ask Miller to correlate the last two victims' info. Twitch may ban you. You know, whenever people play games like, uh, like... Like Conan Exile, where they literally show fucking cock, and they, they're, they allow it to be streamed. It's a video game. Plus, there's the mature rating. I've been meaning to ask you. Did you call her? Call? Oh, no, I didn't. I just don't have the courage. Can we not talk you about You literally this? accepted before you watched this. But promise me that you if you were old enough to view okay, this, because okay, there may be promise. some... There may be minor nudity in the game that I am currently playing. And that is always on for all of my streams. Like, this is- that's like nothing compared to literally fucking cocks swaying around while you're punching a tree. How about you? Did you come up with anything interesting? Yes, I got a partial that doesn't belong to the victim. You play Cyberpunk 2077 and that shows Booba in the first, like, 30 minutes of the game. No, not yet, but I'll- And that's okay to stream. Them. After all, they are only partials. What about the stuff I found? Anything worth mentioning? 
We know that our killer has black hair, if it was he that hung his coat on the nail. It might have been a junkie for all we know, but it doesn't matter. We can use the hair for DNA comparison and place him at the scene of the crime. I sent the fibers to the FBI labs to see if they can find anything unusual or unique about them. Okay, sweetie. I'm out of here. Don't forget my beautifully handwritten report. It's on the table. I got a guy with good enough PC to run Cyberpunk 2077. No. But, you know, there's people who stream the game, which is what I was talking about. I wasn't specifically talking about you as a person playing it. I was saying there have pe been people who have played the game on stream. And I was saying that in, like, the first 30 minutes of the game, there's already, like, titty poking out in your face. <laughs> you didn't necessarily have to play the game. I was given an example. Um, okay, so we have this report. I guess she wants us to look at it. Let's go ahead and see here. Uh, Claire's report. Okay. So, Chicago Police. Okay. The cause of death is drowning the blunt trauma caused by repeatedly, um, repeated st uh, blows with the fists and booted uh, feet was administered before death the um indicated uh, as indicated by the nature of the bruising and the lividity of the tissues um a large curved single edged blade was used in the um evisceration of the torso and stab wounds inflicted on the breasts and torso of the victim post mortem the um evisceration would have pr uh, proved fatal had the victim still been alive there was a bunch of alcohol with uh, rohypnol uh, in their system, causing you know them to not be really conscious during the uh, whole incident, and the cause of death was homicide. Um, so there you go. We got that information in the bag, and I don't know exactly what they want us to do next, but okay. What they allow is such stuff. There's an entire um. There's entire pages that are dedicated to giving you some games that they completely Hi, sweetheart. they hey, don't Dad. allow. I just heard on the news. Another one. Yes, another one. Is everything okay with you? I'm okay. I'm just really tired of this case. It's going nowhere fast. I hate this passiveness. I think it's starting to get the better of me. Well, before that actually happens, why don't you come here and rest? A little R and R won't do you any harm. You can use the jacuzzi to relax and put your thoughts in order. And it's almost Christmas. I have a little gift for you. Oh really? Well, I have the gift you wanted. Are you sure you want it? It seems a little ordinary. Hey, <laughs> it's what I wanted. So, are you coming to the house? Yeah, sure. Okay, honey. I'll see you soon. All right, yeah. we're. I think we're gonna be getting to the next Thanks. puzzle. You're more than <laughs> or welcome. the first puzzle. See you in a bit. Bye. Oh boy. Very soon here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I love puzzles. Based. Okay, so I guess we're gonna head up to the 8th floor. And I guess we're gonna look around a little bit before we move on. I wanna see if there's anything else we can do. Taking a breather? Yeah, it's the damn weather. Depressing as hell. I need to gather more energy before I go back out there. You're still on patrol? Unfucking fortunately, yeah. Well, hang in there. I'll try. <laughs> no. 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 I don't think there's anything else we can do here. I do not want to look at the fucking other shit that was on the other thing. Here's Claire's report. Hey, Miller, one last thing. Can you correlate the data of the fourth victim and the fifth to see if we're overlooking something? Sure. I'll run them through the database. Thanks for the report. Yes, I... No problem. So now I don't think we have that on us, which is 
decent. Let's see. I don't think I can really enter here, and I don't think I can do anything in this area at the moment. The boss is off. Yeah. Okay. Off I think we're good to go now. We we gave them the the report. I actually want to see if there's anything else I can talk to them about. Is there anything else I'm missing? I better leave Miller alone. It looks like he's got his hands full. Okay. Let's head our way out. Oh boy. It's time to go say hi to Daddy. I mean, Dad. Maybe. I think. I don't. I actually don't know what we're doing. I guess that we're going to her dad's. Hello? Ah, here we go. Me go car. Me go in car. Alright. We are now heading to Pat's house. We're heading to, uh, Papa. Alright. We are here. This is a really good song, by the way. Dad? I'm in here, sweetheart. Papa? Hi, Dad. Hi, Pumpkin. Are you sure about this gift? Yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. Suit yourself, here you are. Thanks, sweetheart. You know me. I love these things. Now yours. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Oh! A necklace. Whoa. Where did you get this? I thought we lost it. I found it when I was cleaning out the attic. Actually, it was inside your grandfather's chest. You should maybe take a look inside there. It'll take you back. I will. Thanks for the gift, Dad. I had a feeling you'd like it. Cool. Remember the stories he used to tell us? How can I forget? My favorite one was Paris, because of the occult twist he brought to it. Yours was the one in London, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, romantic and mysterious. There is one story he always avoided telling me, though. The one when he met Grandma. He never would talk about it. Was it not a fond memory? I'm sure it is, Pumpkin. But he could never talk about it. I think your grandfather lost someone close to him when he met your grandmother. Hmm. I guess it was too painful for him to recall. Interesting. Where'd he meet Grandma? He met her in Prague, I believe. Speaking of your grandmother... This year, can you get around to making her special holiday cookies, please? I knew that was coming. Uh oh. They don't take long to make. I know. I'll make some. Don't worry. <laughs> Great. The stuff is already on the counter. What a surprise! I'm gonna have a look in the attic. Might bring back some good memories. Okay, sweetheart. I'll be in here. Uh, yeah. This first mission. Uh, this first puzzle, I might not even be able to do. I haven't played in years. I probably suck now. Probably suck now. Uh, okay. What do we got here? This is the house. This house is based. Look at this. Is this an indoor pool? It's like an indoor, okay, like, hot tub combo. thing. Shot of ice cold vodka, a glass of good red wine while dipping in the tub. I'll get to that later. <laughs> Alcoholic? Hmm. Nothing like a good thing of wine. Uh, let's see here. Oh, shit, wait. I can grab something. This might be helpful to get up into the attic. Oh. 
Okay. I don't think we want to do that just yet. Going to the attic. I just want to look around real quick. I don't know why, but I never liked that painting. This is some nice lighting, though. So, I'm not complaining. What's in here? This is my room. Teddy and I used to be inseparable. This is my room. I sleep here. <laughs> Still. Look at that. Ah, uh, yes, the trap door to the attic. I can't reach it. What was the trick to opening that thing again? I know how to open it. I just don't want to do it just yet. Dad's room? Why the hell would I go in there? Because it gave me an option to click. That's why. Oh, dude. Dude, nice. Look at that. Look at that screensaver. That's a that's a sick screensaver. And then they have a little um but uh what do you call it? Those uh tiny little tree things. I forget what you call it. A uh What do you call those um I forgot the name of it, but I love those kinds of trees. Uh where it's like a little tiny little ecosystem kind of thing. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. This song's good though. Bum, bum. All right. Let's go over here. This is the uh, the recipe cooking thing that we have to do. I thought he was going to change these chairs. Each time I sit in one, it doesn't feel like I'm eating, but ruling a small country. Uh huh, 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 huh. huh. God, you're so fucking funny. Okay. Let me see here. Maybe Dad's trying to send me a message. Uh, I'll do them later. Okay, I'll just do them later. I don't know how to make cookies, by the way. Dad, did you happen to find my old box in the attic? No, sweetheart. I didn't find your memoric figurine. Damn. Dad, did you happen to find my old box in the attic? No, sweetheart. I didn't find your memoric figurine. Damn. Damn. Not here. <laughs> no, sweetie. I did not find your limited edition Shadow the Hedgehog figurine. Damn. Ah, uh, yes, the trap door to the attic. I can't reach it. What, what was, was the, the trick to, to open opening that one? thing again? I don't know. What was it? Was it the... <laughs> this thing? Oh my god, it worked. can't see anything. Oh, I need a light bulb. Ooh. That was a cool transition to the music. Bum, 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 bum. Wait. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing.
Okay. So, turn that. Those are three. And if I turn this one, then it's going to turn this one, this one, and this one. If I turn this one, it'll turn all of these, right? So now that one is that. If I hit that one, then it's going to do that. So if I do this... Okay. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh shit, wait. Only one. Oh. There's only one left that needs to be spun. Okay. I have it do that, and then we do BAM, and then we do BAM. No, wait, shit. Okay, hold on. Have it at the heart so we can do this. Okay, flip this, and then do this, and then do this. Then do this, that, that, this, and then this, and that, and this. I don't know what our goal is other than just matching all of them to be the same thing. I don't know what we're doing. So turn that, turn that, do this, and then do this, then this, this, and this, then this. Then this, then this, then this. And this, this, this. Turn that, turn this, and shit. Hold on. Turn that, and then turn this so it's like that. No, wait, turn this so it's like that, then turn this so it's like that, then turn these so it's like this, then turn this to that, to this, and then... Okay, I don't know how to do this. Wait, necklace? Oh, this is the answer. Okay, so it's a diamond, di so both sides are diamonds, and then the middle is a heart, okay. That's literally the answer. Okay, so this needs to be a heart, and these need to be diamonds. Okay, so turn that, turn that, and then we do this, this, okay.
Okay. So this needs to be turn turned like this, right? Because if I do this... Okay, so that's right. And then we need to do these two. Oh! Okay. I was really close to it. I was really close to it. Because, look here, this one is the only one that needs to be changed, but if I do that, it's not gonna match it regardless. So, I needed to rotate it a couple times to do that. Okay, hold on. So, let's do... This. So, whenever I rotate it, those two are hearts. And then I rotate it. And then I rotate this. No, a couple times. Because the heart, the, these two diamonds need to be here. There's a diamond here. This diamond is n needs to be rotated. One. And then that needs to be rotated. Hold on. And then this rotates. Then this rotates. No. No. There's that. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I just, it's just gonna be really hard. So, this rotates right, this rotates left, and then that rotates right. So, it's right, left, right. This, right, right, left. And then, okay, so this one's right, left, right. This one is, this one. Those two move right, and that one moves left. Okay. This one rotates to the right, and the other two lo rotates to the left. This one rotates these two to the right, and this one to the, to the left. And then this one... These two rotate to the right, and this one rotates to the left. Okay. So, I need to do this... So each one has, so this is diamond, then it's spade, or sorry, yeah. This is, I think, a, an ace. This is a heart. This is a spade. And this is a diamond. So ace, heart, spade, diamond. And I think it's the same for all of them. Um, so ace, heart, spade, diamond, and then, yeah, ace, heart, sorry, ace, heart, spade, diamond. So yeah, they're all the exact same. It's just they rotate differently. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so... This one... So this one needs to be the heart. And these two... These four need to be diamond. So they need to rotate. This is the best thing right here. So this needs to rotate to be the heart. This one automatically rotates it to a diamond. This one starts as a diamond. And these two are spades. Right? If I have it... If I rotate that a couple times. If I do this, then that's um, a diamond thing. So if I rotate it here, it's going to rotate it backwards like that. So what I need to do is rotate it so it's a heart. Then rotate this like that. Then rotate this a couple times. And then those are all diamonds. This one's the only one that's not a diamond. So we need to make it so it's this. And then we need to do this. Because that makes it go... Okay, so that makes it go left. So we actually need to rotate it back to where we had before. So this one... Because if I... Okay, so yeah, we need to make it so it's the diamond rotated again. And then we do this, this. And now that's that. But this one did not change because... Okay. So rotate it. Rotate that. Rotate this. Rotate that. Rotate this. Rotate this. Wait, wait, wait. Rotate that, okay. Damn it. I feel like I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this without pulling out like a piece of paper to do this properly. So I'd actually have to pull out a piece of paper for this. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Let me grab paper. So, let's recap, I guess. Let me grab a, yeah. So, let's recap, right? So, we have, so we have a, this is the start. So, we have a diamond, diamond, and we have a heart. Then we have a diamond. Then we have a spade. That is the worst drawing of a spade. Um, there we go. That's better. Spade. Then this thing. The ace or whatever. So that's the start of it. So we have these. And then. So the diamond. So the diamond here goes this way. The heart goes this way and the other diamond goes this way when you do that and then these stay the same these stay the same and then the heart rotates these two so the heart rotates the diamond this way right and the heart rotates that way 
Meanwhile, the other diamond, this one, rotates this way. Right? Whenever you rotate this one. So then... Oh wait, no wait. The diamond doesn't get rotated. The diamond stays. And then this one also stays. Oh. But the the ace fucking I can't even draw it right. This one rotates left. And then the same and then this applies to the middle the middle thing which is a diamond that's what it starts as a diamond so the diamond heart diamond and then the There we go. This thing, and then the... This thing. Okay. So, the diamond here... Rotates to the right. Meanwhile, the other two rotate to the left. So, this rotates to the right. Like that. And this goes to the left. This goes to the left. Okay. And then... The spade thing here... I have to do this. Okay. There, okay, okay. Kind of looks like a middle finger. <laughs> the, the ace. Uh, okay. So this rotates these two this one and this one to the right and this one rotates to the right or to the left this one rotates to the left okay so those rotate to the left it's this one right here is the one that we're looking at now and then this one rotates does that so whenever I rotate to this one this one's different than this one. Which is what is kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, so... So these two rotate to the right, and then the middle one rotates to the left, right? Okay. So you get the diamond, heart, diamond, spade, and the, the ace. This thing rotates to the right, right? Yep right right and the far one or the middle one the middle one rotates to the left okay so the middle one rotates to the left okay so i have those written down i'm just gonna name it box so box one Box two, box three, and box four. Um, okay. And the solution is diamond. Diamond, diamond, heart, 
Diamond. Diamond. Diamond, diamond, heart, diamond, diamond. That is the solution. So... If this one rotates... I'll just... I should just name these, um... I should just name these box boxes one, two, and three, or whatever, but fuck it, whatever. So yeah, this one rotates... So this one rotates left, this one rotates right, left. Or sorry, sorry. Right, left, right. Okay, so right, left, right. So if I do this... Let's try doing this. Okay, so that's immediately going to be the heart. So we want to... So doing that will mean that we're one step closer to the heart. If we do this one, then that one's going to rotate back to it being a diamond. And this one in the middle will rotate this one to the left and that one to the right. And then if I rotate this one two times, it'll get you to the heart. Okay. So, rotate that. Rotate this. Then rotate this one. And then... No, wait. Rotate this one again. And then rotate this. Okay, no, that just gives us the hearts. But if I do that a couple times, those are diamonds. This one is eventually a diamond. Which is what we want. Whenever we rotate this, this, these two need to be, this one needs to be a heart and this one needs to be a diamond, right? So if I rotate that, that one should stay normal. But if I rotate this one a couple times, then if I rotate this, they're both going to be diamond. Okay. So we want it to be like that. No, no, wait. Hold on. Shit. Okay. Not what I wanted to do. So that, this, this, and then this, this, and then this, this, this. Okay, so this is off by one. So if I do that, then that should be good. Then I do this. God damn it. Okay. So. Rotate this one. So now. This one will be moved to the left. This one will be to moved to the right. Um. The middle one again rotates that one to the left and this one these two to the right so if i were to literally do this then that would go back to being a diamond and that would become a whatever you call it so these are the opposite of each other the heart and the diamond and if i rotate this one right here where is it Then this one will rotate to the right, as well as this one. And this one will rotate to the left. And if I do that, that's not going to help. So it needs to be like this. Rotate that. Oh! I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. At all. But I can pretend that I know what I'm doing right now.
Yep. Nailed it. Ugh. I hate these puzzles. <laughs> I hate these fucking puzzles. I don't even know if I'm writing this right, to be honest. I... <sighs> Let me save. The necklace, I can't. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Browning, God, he hated... Okay, hold on. There's a lot of stuff here. So, FBI and CPT. I've really got to stop letting the numbers get to me. Like Claire said, with the crawler, we lucked out. Um, because he crossed the state line for his second kill. So no, none of the locals anywhere really had a choice but to let us in. This time, of course, they did what they... Okay. A bloody person. what we got. Yep. Okay. Rotate that two times. Rotate this three times. Rotate rotate this one right here. Rotate this one right here. Two times. Then rotate this one right here. Two times. Then rotate this one right here two times. Rotate this one two time one time. Rotate this one two times. Rotate this one couple times rotate that then this then this then this then this bam bam pajama sam just give me it god damn it okay because if i click this one it's gonna rotate that one wrong wait Okay. gonna fucking do this I'm gonna fucking do it god damn it okay close Okay. Okay. Shit. Okay. So these two are right. The only issue is that it's one off. Which means that I need to move it one more. Which is something that I don't know if I can do. Okay. Mm. Uh. 
<sighs> Which one rotates the middle one again? Hold on. Which one rotates the middle one again? Okay, so there's only two that rotate the middle. Actually, no, three. The left one here rotates the middle to the right, which is not what we want. Because if we rotate this to the right, then this one also gets changed. And this one is now not facing the right way. So we need to make it so this these two do not get changed. And the middle one does, which means we need to rotate it to this. And we have to change these two. And this one right here rotates... This one right here rotates these two to the right and that one to the left. So we need to rotate it to where that one will get affected. Whenever we rotate it, we need it to be like this. Because we're going to rotate it again and this one is going to get moved two times okay so those two are not it anymore which means we need to rotate this one again let's try it this time no okay let's try it again all of them are this but that's not what we need we need to find so this one definitely is not gonna do it because as you can see, this one now needs to be rotated, this middle one. And if I hit this middle one, it's going to rotate all of them and this one, which is not going to help. And if I do the middle one, then it's going to rotate these two. So what I'd have to probably do is I probably have to hit this one. Wait, hold on. Let's, let's make these normal again. There we go. So we're making these normal again, and this one's the only different one. We need to rotate this one. And then we're going to have to rotate... So we're going to have to rotate it this way. And then I hit this, and it brings it back. And then these two are the same thing. So then if I hit this... It makes it. No, shit. I solved it. I solved the puzzle, right? Motherfucker! I had it! Oh my god. I had it. But it didn't fucking work. I think I was supposed to click the thing. Uh... There we go. Okay. God, I don't know what I did. I don't remember what I fucking did. I just need them all to be the same again. Except for the middle one. That's all I needed to do. 
rotate this one two times, rotate this one three times, then rotate this one two times, rotate that one like that. So now these are the same. This one needs to be rotated. So that one's like that. Then rotate this one over to that. Now all of them are that except for this one. So I need to rotate it to be like that. So then whenever I rotate this, those are all like that except for this one, which is not changed at all. So now I have to rotate it again so that one is like that. Then this one needs to be rotated. Then this one needs to be rotated a couple times. Then this one can be rotated. Then this one can be rotated. I don't remember how I got them all to be the same. I think I just hit a bunch of shit. Oh my god. Take this one two times. Those are diamonds now. This one is not a diamond. So now I need to rotate it like this. See, now it's the op fucking opposite. It's just not what I wanted. I want to die. Okay, so... If I rotate this one, then these two are going to rotate to the right, which is not what I wanted to do. I'll show you what that looks like. So it looks like that. Now you know. If I rotate this, then these two get rotated, and that one goes like that. And if I hit this one, then it rotates these two. So I need to hit this one again. And then I hit this one. Okay, so this is the wrong position. Is what I'm getting out of this. Okay. Rotate it again, and then do this. No. I think it was like that and then hit this and then hit this well now this is wrong there we go so make those the same so whenever I rotate them they're normal okay wait hold on Hit this one. I'm so fucking mad. I'm so fucking mad, dude. I'm so fucking pissed off. Oh my god. You don't realize how fucking angry I am. <sighs> I had the fucking answer, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna get the guide because I literally- I literally got the answer. I'm just gonna go get a guide. I already got the answer. It's just fucking- I hit the- I didn't hit the button, I guess. And it didn't count. So I'm just gonna get the answer now because I did it. So, I'm just gonna, that's how I'm gonna respond to that, is instead of fucking wasting my time with already getting a fucking answer, I'm just gonna do it. So. Okay, so they hit, they hit box two. I'm gonna write it down. Cause, fuck me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So. They fucking hit the box right here. The second box. So it's. Come on. So it's two, 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 three, four, four. 
Wait. Okay, hold on. So it's... 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4. Was that... Okay, hold on. How many 4s was that? 4, 4, 4. That's 3 4s. Okay. And then it's 5, 5, 5. Okay. And you click the button. Okay. Yeah, I did it. I just literally what happened was I didn't fucking hit the button, which I the, the reason why was I'm I was so fucking scared that if I clicked that, like there was no indication that I got it. I was scared that if I clicked it, it was gonna reset the puzzle. And so my my best answer was to literally was to literally just like back out and hope that that a answered the question and instead what happened was that it reset the puzzle fuck off <laughs> fuck off I'm so mad. I'm so fucking mad. I did it. So, you can't say I didn't. You can't say I didn't Two do it. years have passed since the strange case in Paris. I figured I'd best leave town and come here. Quieter, or so I thought. The case in Paris has stirred my passion for PI work again. I had to let go of my dream of being an artist. It wasn't bringing in as much dough as being a private dick. In all, there were five dead and two unaccounted for. So far, all the victims were prostitutes. I didn't know if I would take the case. To my surprise, this cop Skalnik had no beef about me snooping around his crime scene. Oh my god, I'm having a That's So Raven moment. Uh-oh. Oh! You didn't see that. What's with the music? It's mm. very nice of you to let me have a peek. I'm Gustav McPherson. I'm a... Yes, a private detective. I'm familiar with your work, Mr. McPherson. I had no idea I was so popular. I've read about your case in Paris and the one in London. I'm Inspector Skalnik of the Prague Police. Is this the fifth victim? Yes, she is officially. Supposedly, there are two missing. Supposedly? Yes, well, you know these women. They come and go often without telling anyone. And then they show up again like they never left. So I don't bother with disappearances. So you only bother when they turn up like this? I see. We have a knight in shining armor. If you want my advice, Mr. McPherson, you'd best return to the usual missing person cases or husband cheating mysteries. This is a waste of your time. I think you've just convinced me to take the case. Really, Mr. McPherson? The press will not even cover this story. No one wants to know about dead prostitutes. If they do write about it, it will be about the killer and the number of bodies and not the actual victims. The pimps care even less. They force their women to work even if there is a killer loose. No one wants to sit at a dinner table and talk about this. There is no glory in this case. Like I said, you should stick with what you know. Do you mind if I ask you a few more questions? Not at all. Were all the victims prostitutes? Yes. Is the cause of death the necklace on her neck? Of course it is. Oh. So it's okay. not the multiple stab wounds to her chest. No. Well, we aren't really sure. Does she have any other significant wounds on her body? Yes. She has scars on her forearms, and she is eviscerated. Eviscerated? Oh. 
I had never seen anything so horrible in my entire life. Max Payne? I'd only heard of horrors like this from the Ripper case in London. Oh my A God. Ripper case. I was wondering if they were going to reference like that. Yes, they were all found like this. Hmm. Are all the organs accounted for? I'm no doctor, Mr. McPherson. I have no idea. In the other cases, were there missing organs? Not that I'm aware of. Who's the coroner? Emil Corona. He works at the old chapel. He's very... Well, I don't want to ruin the surprise. Now it's your turn to share. Maybe you can tell me what you think happened. I think you're right about the cause of death. That slash across the neck was definitely it. The stabbings to her chest were done before the final blow to the throat. The defensive stab wounds on her arms reinforce this theory. What's bothering me, though, is the lack of blood at the crime scene. This probably indicates that she was murdered somewhere else, not here. Well, Mr. McPherson, I don't want to be rude, but... You have work to do, uh, of course. Thanks for sharing. It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you, too. I had a feeling that the cooperation between Skalnik and me had just ended. He was testing me for some reason. I was left to fend for myself. Okay, then. I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. Uh, so... This is chapter two. Okay. So, I will be right back. Um, I'm, yeah, I need to go use the restroom, so. The fuck. Shit. Shit, fuck. Oh, fuck. Right, I'm back. So apparently there's a lot of writing in here. But oh my god, there's just so much like reading that I don't want to do. I better leave the inspector to himself. Someone was paid to write all of that. Someone was paid to do that and I I don't want to deal with it. Kazimir Stasek. He's been a good source of info on a couple of minor cases I had here in the city. Hello, my friend. Ah, Mr. McPherson. And how are you this dark evening? I can't complain. And how's my favorite boy in blue? Besides my eye and this horrible murder, everything's fine. 
How'd you get the Shiner? Shiner? Your black eye. How'd you get it? Oh, uh, I arrested a man last night, and for some reason my eye hit this man's very large fist. Did you get sucker punch? Well, a little. My partner didn't have time to warn me. Everything happened so fast. I was helping the woman, and I turned around to see if my partner was okay, and wham! Next thing I knew, I was flat-faced on the sidewalk. Hmm. And what did the man do to deserve your undivided attention? He was harassing a young woman. Harassing. So I asked him to stop, and then things got out of hand. Heresy! The police are trying to find this animal. We're a little nervous when a man harasses a young woman these days. That's Harasses? Is that like the actual way you're supposed to say I that? Imagine you don't have anything more to give me. This time, I'm afraid I have nothing for you, my friend. Everyone is more or less at a loss. You don't mind if I ask you a couple of questions, anyway? Of course not. How long has this been going on? It started about three weeks ago. You didn't hear about it until now? No, I wasn't in town. I just got back. I was working a case outside the city. Someone called me to see if I could come back and help. Ah, the very beautiful Miss Ida Skalikova, I presume. Good guess. She's worried for her friends. I told her I'd see what I could do. Can you tell me about your new boss? Inspector Yuri Skalnik. He was given the case and got temporarily assigned to this district. He has a good reputation, but he doesn't share much information with us. He keeps to himself a lot. What? He doesn't trust you? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe he thinks we're incompetent or something. <laughs> Maybe. But he'd be stupid to think so. Why, thank you, my friend. Hmm. I forgot to turn uh, Discord off. Oops. I should probably do that we're after I finish this. Yeah, I believe so. But then again, I don't have much information, as I said earlier. Okay. Is there ever an eyewitness? Nope. Never. Hmm. That's what bothered me the most. How was the killer getting around the city without being seen? Well, I should leave you to your work, and I have to see my client. Thanks for your input. You're welcome. Be careful. Will do. Nice. Okay. The music is kind of creepy. Um, let me go ahead and turn Discord off. <laughs> I don't know why I have some, uh, all of it on here. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Why am I getting fucking pinged? Hard. Okay, I'll just leave it on just for now. Oh my god. Thank god for streamer mode. On Discord. Thank god. Alright, is the game gonna actually load something? Oh, Ayo! Didn't load. Okay. Let me, uh... Let me just go ahead and stop the the game. <laughs> hey yo, whoa, that's the boy. All right, let's try this again, again, again. Uh, okay, let's go to load game. Perfect. All right, cool. Let's head our way back to this way. It's nice that you can run if you double tap it. Dude, I need to fucking sneeze. My Ida. Best <laughs> in all of Eastern Europe. Oh. She's my angel, love of my life. I met her on a small case I was Bless working. me. She used to dance in the neighborhood cabaret. She was involved with the married man I was following. It was love at first sight. Hey. Look at you all dolled up. Hi, sweetheart. I don't like it when you call me that. I didn't call you a doll. I said that you were... <laughs> Beat it, toots. Never mind, I'm sorry. I got murder cases to solve. Now have you talked to that useless inspector? <laughs> yes, I have. And I didn't get much from the meeting. Are you going to help us? Of course I will. Was there really any doubt? No, but you never know. When do you want to settle this, now or later? No, I don't want money, Ida. 
Nonsense. You will accept our money. How much do you charge? Okay, listen. We'll settle this after the case, all right? Do you promise? Because we'll feel insulted if you don't accept our money. What was I supposed to do? Take money off these women? That's the last thing I wanted to do. Yes, I promise. I will charge you at the end of the case. Yeah, right. What was her name? Who? The victim's name? Oh, her name was Frantiska. Frantiska? Huh. Were you close to her? Not as much as Milena, but yes, I knew her. Did she ever talk about a regular client or someone special? Not that I know of. Do you think Milena can answer a few questions? I guess. Let me ask her. Milena? Yes? This is my friend, the one I told you about. He's here to help us catch the man responsible. Do you think he can ask you some questions about Frantiska? Okay. I'll wait for you up the stairs. Okay. 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 I'll see you in a bit. Hello, Milena. My name is Gus McPherson. I'm here to help stop this from ever happening again. I thank you, sir. Not a lot of people would help women like us. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about Frantiska? No, that's fine. How long have you known Frantiska? Oh, I've known her for a long time. We met in the orphanage when we were just little girls. Her uh, parents had died in a terrible accident. We became very close. We both left the orphanage never to return. We never liked the sisters. Ever since we left, we tried to survive on the streets, even changing cities. But we kept coming back here. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Where is my... There we go. Did she ever talk about someone new or special? No. It was not her style. Why does that sound like Frances the Hell's very Kitchen, very like... Noise. Enough to allow her to survive. She would only take complete strangers if she absolutely needed to. <coughs> Apollina is more like that. She always has a new rich client. Did she ever have a client that had been violent with her? No. She only had clients she trusted. Hmm. How about you? Have you had any trouble with any of your clients? No, I'm like Frantiska. I have only regular clients. If I'm on the streets, it's because I'm keeping my friends company. to any of the other victims? Well, there is one that was a common friend to Francisca and me. Her name was Anezka. No one's found her. She just disappeared one day. We honestly don't know what happened to her. And I knew the others only on a professional level. Hmm. Did Anezka ever complain about any clients before she disappeared? Or did she ever talk about leaving? Well, we all talk about leaving wants to live their life like this. But she never complained about anything. Anezka was like Apollina. She took on many clients. She left town a lot, but always came back with a broken heart. I hope she did find someone and left this place. Where can I find this Apollina? She usually works the park. Rare are the girls who are allowed to enter it. She's very protective of her territory. That's what she calls it anyway. Frantiska and me were allowed in because Apollina knew we didn't take strangers and pretty much had our own regulars. Anezka was Apollina's good friend, so she was allowed to. So we all kept each other company in the park. Maybe Apollina knows where Anezka is. 
I don't know. Well, thank you for answering my questions. It was a pleasure to meet you, even under these unfortunate circumstances. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. McPherson. I thank you for trying to help us. Trying? I haven't even started yet. If I have any more questions, how may I contact you? Usually in the park. Again, thank you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I pull up. Edith okay, yeah, pull up. Earth. She's the sweetest person I've ever met. I truly believe she doesn't have an <laughs> in her body. Let's go. She had a stepfather who molested her on a regular basis. Ida is always positive, and she's always willing to help the people who surround her. That's why she hired me to try and help. She has an undying optimism about life in general, and I love her for it. Hey. How is she? She's okay, I guess, under the circumstances. I'll go talk to her after. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, are you feeling better? Yes, a little. It's not as bad as when you left for your case. Hmm. Tell me, where can I find Emil Corona? Who's he? He's the coroner working the case. I need to ask him a few questions. Skalnik said he worked in an old chapel. Do you know where it is? Yes, I'll mark it on a map. <coughs> is this Fallout 4 all of a sudden? What is it with men and I'll mark it on your map. Here, I'll mark it on your pit boy. He pulls out his, his futuristic pit boy on his hiding under his, his oh, coat. Thanks, sweetheart. Hold on, I gotta go get my companion. His name's Nick Valentine. Did you go see the doctor? No. Ida, go see him. It might be serious. I'm no doctor, but throwing up every day is not normal. Go see him. Okay, okay, I'll go see him. I don't throw up every day, you know. You always exaggerate. Yes, okay. But go see him as soon as possible. Okay. I have to see this Corona. I want you to stay off the streets as much as possible. Never walk around alone. Yes, I stay know off the streets. Hundred times. I am careful. Okay, I'll ease up on you. You be careful. I will. Now go. What's with the guy breathing to the microphone? He's going. <laughs> What's with that? Yo, time to get into my my Ford Model T. Or never mind, I'll walk. So we have two locations. We have the park and we have the old chapel. And we started at the shore. Hmm. Let's do let's do the park first. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at your post? Well, you told me to. <laughs> Never mind. Do you have any news at least? Yeah. The American is talking to the girl's boss. So, he thinks he can move in on my women, huh? Well, my friend, if you ever see him, you may explain things to him. Explain what? Use that brute force of yours, you idiot. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, boss. I truly miss your brother. He was the smart one. Yeah, I miss him too. Why can't we get him out? Because I'd probably get arrested too, you moron. That's all Skalnik wants, anyways. I have a feeling he will blame. It's Pinky in the brain. Murders. Why am I telling you this? Go back to your post. You see the American. You can rough him up. Okay, boss. I better steer clear of the big guy. The scrawny looking guy was probably Odokar Kubina. Who can forget that name? Anyways, he was the pimp of the neighborhood. He worked out of this little lingerie shop, which acted as a front, of course. He owned a couple of joints in the district, including the cabaret where Ida used to work. I think he never forgave me for stealing Ida from that dive. Hmm. Interesting. We could go in there, I guess. Let's check over here first. I assume they go, they'd want us to go in here. But let's see. Can I actually go this way, or does he be like, no, 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 no? Okay, so I can I can immediately. Okay, let's just go here. Oh, wait, hold on. Hmm. So that was the park, and that was the the. L lingery, lingery, the lingery. Hello, ma'am. 
Why, hello there. Nice night for a walk, isn't it? It's a little too German expressionist for my taste, but I guess one could appreciate it. Need some company? You must be Apollina, right? Yes. You've heard of me. Do you know Inezka? Yes. Do you want both of us at the same time? Sure. Uh, no. Do you know where she is? No, I haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> when was the last time you saw her? Hey, do you want a Nesca or me? Are you a cop or something? If so, I'll be very disappointed. Not exactly. I'm a detective. I was hired by some of your friends. What friends? You must know Ida, Milena, and the late Francisca. Yes, I do, and they are most certainly not my friends. <gasps> I have all the protection I need from Roman. Don't you care that some people you know are dying? Actually, no. More business for me. We are just whores to the police anyway. Besides, I have all the protection I need from Roman. Now, would you come hey, Roman. off your scaring potential customers <laughs> away? Sure, is it the same? Is it Roman Bellic? Is it the Bellic? The baby? Okay, I pull up. Uh, Let's go. Huh? <gasps> I have nothing in my inventory. Also, it's wooden. I like this it's wood grain now. It reminds me of Ida. It reminds me of Ida. <laughs> the fragrance. It's so intoxicating. My god, is that... Is that rosemary? Ugh. The smell. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. I can't really... It's telling me hand, and I don't... What do you mean hand? I don't have anything. I, I can't... I can't do it. I'll have to wait. Gil. I'm getting out of here. Uh, I'm out of here. Uh, let's go in here. I better straighten things out with him later. I have other things to do. Yeah, Colonel. Colonel, I can't seem to get inside the lingerie. Snake, use the action button to open the door. Uh, where the fuck do they want me to go? Cat. What, do, what am I doing here? What? Okay, that worked. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. I I don't. Is that German? I I don't. I don't know what this that was supposed to be. This place has a metallic smell of blood and the stench of rotting flesh. This old chapel had been converted into an autopsy room. Now blood dyed its floor. Let's Hello, go. My name's Gus McPherson. I'm a detective that was hired to help my client. Hello? Sir? Hello? He has his, air he has his AirPods huh? in. What the... What are you doing here? I thought I'd lock the door. Where is my cone? What are you trying to do? Give me a heart attack? Uh, sorry, Mr. Corona. Who are you and how do you know my name? Like I said earlier, I'm Detective McPherson. Inspector Skalnik told me that I could ask you a few questions. If Skalnik says it's okay, then it's okay. We're going to be using that one of these things when we what get older. What are you hearing, if you don't mind my asking? It happened in the Great War. I was a medical aide. Now we get the wounded from the trenches to the temporary hospital. One day we saw a wounded soldier in no man's land. We rushed to him, and a mortar shell exploded on my partner. I survived, but with hardly any hearing left. Ugh. So that's where you got your experience? Yeah, mostly. Ironically, the war ended three weeks after the shell exploded. The Great War. Can you walk me through your observations of this victim? Okay. Ah, the cause of death is like the others. The cut to the throat. It can't be the multiple stab wounds or the evisceration itself? 
No, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> what makes you so sure? The one before her. The one we found in the park. She was killed in the same oh, spot shit. she was oh, God. found. Again. It was clear that it was the wound to her throat that killed her. The rest was probably oh. done after. Hold on. And Internet you dying? Okay, we're fine. Because not much blood was coming from the other wounds. The heart was still beating when the throat was cut. I hmm. could tell by the amount of blood that had poured from the throat wound. Hmm. So you weren't sure about the cause of death until you saw the victim in the park? Well, I had my doubts, but when I saw her, yes, she made things more clear. And the same killer would use the same brutal techniques. Precisely. Very interesting. Does the victim in the park have any other differences from the rest of the victims? Yes, the cut to her neck indicates an attack from behind. The rest, including this one, were attacked from the front. If only I had the other body, I could show you the difference. That's okay. Really, I trust your judgment. Really? Did you... Really, if you watch an ad right now, you will have 30 minutes of ad-free music. No, really. You don't have if the you body, listen now. maybe you have a file on the victim from the park? Want a break from the ads? The supposed to come and get the file if you... Showed up. If you listen to this, uh, if you watch this you ad now, you will get 30 minutes of ad-free music. He still hasn't come to get the one from the park. No, really. Oh, I see. Well, you will get 30 minutes of ad-free music. No, I don't really care. <laughs> Where do you keep your files? In my safe over there. I can never remember my combination, so I wrote it on a piece of paper. You know, I think I lost it somewhere. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Let's go. Okay. Want a break from the ads? I don't think I can find that meme. Even if I were to try to find it. Those chairs, though. Oh, card. With numbers on it. Nice. We need that. Blood. Not gonna question it, of course. I hate this part of my job. 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 Ah. So it's seven... Seven, four, eight, two, one, five, three, six. Seven, four, eight, two, one, five, three, six. Okay. Seven, four, eight, two, one, five, three, six. So let's see here. I don't know what any of these means. I guess this would be a three. I, I, f I feel like there's, like, a, actually, like, an answer to this, like, these pictures, but I don't have, like, the, the code to use to decipher them. So I don't even think I'm going to be able to get that just yet until I find a way to decipher that. I can only assume. And I clearly don't have the code here. Not a pretty sight. Ugh. No, she never saw it coming. Ugh. 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 The cut to her throat is very deep. It was definitely a frontal assault. Ugh. It looks like the first try at the throat missed. Ugh. In every body, there's a puzzle waiting to be solved. Based. 
How does the safe work? Huh? What? What did you say? How does the safe work? Each number is represented by a symbol. Now, the trick is, uh, you know, what was it again? Did you, you know, damn, I don't remember. Hmm. So it's seven four, so this would probably have to be one. One. Wait, okay, hold on. Maybe it's each line. So this would be one, two, three. So this would be three. This would be one, two, three, four. This would be one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Then this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Then this one would be one, two, three, four, five. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, we already have a six, so that can't be it, right? One, two. And then one, two, three. Okay, hold on. So we need a code here, right? We have a code right here. Spect. So seven, four. Oh my god, that is so sensitive. That should not be that sensitive. Seven, four. So we need seven. We have four. We have eight. We have two, we have a one, we have a five, a three, and a six. So one that looks kind of like, we could also look at it, maybe I'm overthinking it. And one of these looks like a seven. This one kind of looks like a seven. So maybe this one is the seven. Maybe. Hold on. So there's one, two, three, four five six one two three four five six maybe this one's the seven maybe this part that cuts off right here is the seven but that doesn't make sense either there's a two um this one kind of looks like lightning Seven, four, eight, two, one, five, three, six. So, which one kind of looks like a well, two? This one kind of looks like a two. Like, this one has two lines. So, what if it's one, two, three, four? So, it's in the fourth position. So, one, two, three, four. Then I guess this one would be one, two. This one kind of looks like a one. This one looks like a three. And three is right after five. So five, and then this would be the three. And then this one kind of looks like a five here. Which I could do that one. Let's look at this again. So seven, right? So maybe... This one is the 7, because look at it. This box right here creates kind of like a 7, right? And then 4. This one kind of could be a 4. Hold on. Okay, so 4 is the second number. And then 8 would kind of look like... Kind of looks like this one. Well, mm, that one could also be 2. Let me see here. So... We need one that kind of looks like six. Okay, so we need an eight. We have, the, I think, the two. So 
We need the five. I guess the five could go here. And then the eight can go here, I guess. And then this one. No. I think I was overthinking it. Just a tiny bit. I think this one might be seven. This one could be the four. Maybe it's one, two, three, four. I don't... Because it also can kind of look like a four there. One, two, three. Maybe this is a three. Maybe I was right about the lines. Maybe I was right about that. So... Four lines, right? Let's see. Which one has four lines? This one kind of could be the four. This one... I think this one might be it. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So this one could be the four. Eight. This one might be the... One of these might be the eight. This one might be the eight. Or this one. Um... Or it's goes from com most complicated to so like this is not this complicated so this could be one this could be two then i guess this one could be three or this one is one this one is two this one's three and then this one's four then this one could be five this one might be six this one's seven and this one might be eight And this one's probably the seven. And then two would be this one. And then, yeah, one would be this one. This one could also be the two. I think that's what they're maybe going for. And that one's a five. Five. And then three, which would be this one. I think it might be this one, this one? No. Hmm. I might be overthinking it. Because this one might is clearly to this, right? And this is the only place I can go to right now. So unless I can... So I have to solve this puzzle. So this is... I think this is one. This is two. This is three. I think this is four. This is five. <clears throat> this is six. This is... This is, this is six, this is seven, this is eight. I think. With that in mind, it's seven, four. So this is seven, four, eight, seven, four, eight. Let's try two. One, right? Five. Five. Then three. Then six. No. Okay. That would have been pretty cool if I got that, but I don't think I will. Maybe there's a like, clue somewhere that I can use. There might be a clue somewhere. Let me look around the area here, because... Hmm. Oh! Clock. Okay. So that's how they're doing it, huh? We got part of the answer right here. So this is... 
12, this is 6. This symbol we didn't even find, but the closest one we have that looks kind of like that. So that one's 8. Just by how it looks, which means that that one design kind of makes sense, right? I wish I could look at that closer, but there's no way for me to be able to look at it. Yeah, there's no way for me to be able to, like, look at this better. So I'm just going to have to go off of what I see here. So this is... Okay. So yeah, this is clearly three, right? So one would have to be that one weird looking one. Two would have to be that weird two looking one. Okay. The only way for me to be able to do this is take a picture of this, right? So I can see it, see it better, obviously. So let me take a photo of that so I can use it. And then we go from there. Okay. All right, let's head back here. It's literally our only thing. Oh wait, 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 wait. What's this? New thing we can look at. These were installed recently. Can we look at it? These were installed recently. Okay, we cannot look at it. Okay. Hmm. Weird, like black smudge right there. Okay. So yeah, so this is definitely one. This is definitely two. This is definitely three. That is one that we can establish easily. That is clearly what it is. Now, what would be four? Looking at this picture, what would be considered four? Because we have six, which would be the six, which would be the this design this is six four or five so six could go right here so that's clearly six and this design which i think is what they were kind of going for i can't exactly tell I, it kind of looks like this but it looks kind of like this it's not really helpful this is 12. so this has to go here. Or, well, this could be 8. This is 8 because 12 has 3 lines. And... I guess this would be... So, if... That design on the clock is 9, then this would have to be... Okay, wait, hold on. Because that, that one with, like, the three lines is 12. This one would have to be... And this one is... is so this one's three. This one is six. So what would five be? Maybe this is five? I mean, like, it kind of makes sense. And I guess this one would have to be four. Either this one goes here. Or it's this one. This is the two that I'm, I'm probably going to be confused about. This one, I guess, would have to be seven. And this one's eight. Even though... Or maybe it's this way. This one's eight. This one's seven. So, okay. We need to do this image. Right? So we need to do 7, 4, 8, 2, 1. So let's do 2, 1, and 3. That one's the easiest one, right? 2, 1, and 3. So 2 is... In the fourth position. One, two, three, four. Two, one, 
and then five, then three. This is six. Where does six need to go at the very end? So six would have to go here, because we know that. So it's these last four that we don't know. So this one might be here. This one might be five. This one might be four. I'm not entirely sure if that one's the four or this one's the four. This one might be the four just because of how simple of a design it is. And there's four corners on it. So I think it's like this and this. This one, I think, goes here. She there we go. The only victim that had been attacked on Whatever. The spot in the park. Maybe the police Whatever. overlooked something. I got I it. To go see for myself. Oh my god. <laughs> How the fuck did I get that? Okay. I'm gonna immediately f save. <laughs> okay. I'm able to fucking do it, okay? I was able to use my brain. Use brain and guessing. Guesswork. I've never- I- I- I played Toho, okay? Okay. You can- He- he won't- he won't leave. Hello? Hold on. I guess I have to show him it. There's no like dialogue. He's been nice so far. I don't want to push his hospitality. What the fuck? Crime scene picture of a victim found in the park. Maybe I don't leave that way? Please tell me I'm not soft locked. Okay. Maybe maybe I just have to stand there for long enough for my character to decide he wants to go. I stand here. Watch. Okay. Stay away from women. Sorry, Mac. I like women too much. I woke up with a splitting headache. It wasn't the first time my smart-ass mouth got me in trouble. Uh-oh. Okay. I think running causes the game to have some issue, I think, sometimes. Okay, so I guess we need to go to the park. I thought I told you to fuck off. <gasps> Right here, there was a body. I don't see anything unusual. I don't see anything unusual. Okay, hold on. What's a... The window! I don't see anything unusual. Shit. Okay, wait. Look at it again. What's unusual about this picture? 
the flamingo. Wait. Well, clearly it's the picture. It's clearly the corpse on the... The corpse just kind of here. I don't see anything unusual. Um, if it's not the corpse, then what's the issue here? Uh, I don't see anything unusual. Is it the weird looking flamingo in the background? I don't see anything unusual. <laughs> okay. Um What's the unusual part other than the weird mirror or like window that I can't even see in the picture here because it's covered up by a tree? What's weird about this game? I don't see anything unusual. I don't see anything unusual. I don't see what's immediately the apparent thing here. Is it the lamp? Because the lamp is... You can't see if the lamp is off or not on this one right here. The lamp here is... Not on. I don't see anything unusual. Uh, this is the only image I have to work with. Me clicking on the... Okay. See anything unusual. Hold on. Crime scene picture of, of the victim found in the park. Wait. Hmm. Wait, maybe it's the heartbeat. I don't see anything unusual. Maybe it's the heartbeat. I don't see anything unusual. I don't see anything unusual. Go there. What's unusual about that fence? I don't, I don't see, see anything, anything unusual. unusual. Go to that corner. What? It is written, the whore hasn't, wasn't worthy of my devotion, so I propose to the angel. Hmm. Is 
Is it actually the angel? Is that what the... Wait, I... I don't need to use it anymore? So I look at the angel... Hmm... Why? Quick time event. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Oh shit, he's breaking in. He's going in hard. Our boy. Oh my. Has my friend here stolen this from you? He has, yes. I cannot help but be embarrassed. You see, I taught him to retrieve shiny objects for me, and he does so remarkably well, don't you think? Yes, he does. Being a coachman in an industrial yes, world is not he does. Quite what it used to be. Yes, he does. Where are you from, sir? If you don't mind my asking. I'm from all over Europe, it seems, sometimes. I yes, don't it does. In one spot for very long, yes. I've stayed here for a while now. It does. My legs don't allow me to travel very far, I'm afraid. But to answer your question, I'm from London, England. Come now. You used to be a detective, or a cop even, right? I'm a simple coachman and wish to remain that. I ask you to no longer continue in this line of questioning. Please, out of genuine courtesy. Very well. Very well. Who are you? On good days, as I mentioned earlier, I work as a coachman for the odd tourist or for the prostitutes who want to make their way through the city at a bargain price. On not so good days, my friend, whom you've already met, becomes a thief to help me make ends meet. On bad days, I'm merely reduced to being a homeless bum. So you know some of the prostitutes around here? Yes, I do. I've driven them here and there through the city streets. They hire me or their clients hire me, either because I'm cheaper than a taxi or they appreciate the rustic look. Do you know any personally? I knew one personally. On certain occasions we would exchange pleasantries, but most of the time I would just drive. She was very young to be doing what those animals wanted. Her name was Vladana. She was only 16 years old. Oh, she was? Yes, I haven't seen her in a long time. I fear the worst. Interesting. You said her name was Vladana. Are you sure it's not Inezka? Very sure. Vladana reminded me of a girl I once knew as a young man. Hmm. You must surely know about the murders. Indeed I do. Anyone who lives in this district knows. That is why I fear for Vladana's well-being. May I ask you a few questions? Sure. Who are you? And why are you so interested in the local problems? I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Gus McPherson. I'm a private investigator. Oh, it's McPherson, not Pearson. The they are, for obvious reasons, worried about the situation and have no confidence in the police's competence. Admirable, Mr. McPherson. Admirable indeed. 
I have to admit that I have lost all hope in humanity. The things I have seen during my miserable life. You, Mr. McPherson, have restored my faith. That's good. Tell me, is it true? Is there a new one that washed up on the shore of the river? She didn't wash up. Never mind, that's not important. Unfortunately, yes, there is. Did you see her? Yes, I did. Don't worry, my friend. Her name wasn't Vladana. She was known as Frantiska. Thank you, Mr. McPherson. You've reassured me. Hmm. You said that the body did not wash up on the shore. No, she didn't. She was, uh, forgive the expression, dumped there. How is this possible? There is only one way a man can travel throughout the city without being seen, Mr. McPherson. The sewers. Precisely. He is using them to move back and forth, limiting the possibility of witnesses. I've stumbled on a few underground passages in this city, but I never found any in this neck of the woods. Maybe you should start looking for some. It would certainly help you in your investigation. Have you talked to the police about your theory? Yes, I have. But who listens to a homeless bum? Especially not one who outwits the inspector. That Inspector Skalnik is quite a unique individual. Unique, huh? Is that Latin for asshole? <laughs> is there anything else you can tell me that might help me in my investigation? I'm afraid not, Mr. McPherson. Only that little theory of mine. I'm only a coachman trying to survive, and this little fellow helps me. Speaking of which, may I have that ring back? Dear me, of course. Thank you. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. It's quite all right. We got the ring. The ring, the precious. I guess I can't ask I him any more questions. You, Mr. McPherson. Never take on a suspect who is rich and powerful. Interesting. I'm tired now. I must rest. The pain in my legs is returning. Okay. Goodbye. The fuck do you want? Ida. What are you doing here? I found something that might help you. Weren't you supposed to see the doctor? Ida, please don't do this. Do what? Help. Why can't I help you? Because it's dangerous. <laughs> don't you know there's a seriously deranged man roaming the streets preying on women? Oh, I can handle myself. I don't doubt that for a second. But I'd like to know that you're somewhere safe so I can concentrate on the case and not worry about you. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, what have you found out? Oh, it's really good. I was asking a few questions of some of the women. Anyway, one of them admitted that she'd heard that one of the victims survived an attack and was hiding in the scrapyard. That's great, but how reliable is the source? I have to admit it's only a rumor, but isn't it worth taking a look? Yes, it is. Be careful. I will. Stay off the streets, but first go see the doctor. Yes, I will. I'll see you later. A and Ida? Yes? Thanks for the info. You're welcome, and I love you too. Yeah, thanks, babe. <laughs> I got cases to solve. You know me. There they go. Awkwardly going that way. This reminds me of the Madison Avenue arsonist case I worked on. Hmm. Interesting. Compelling theory. Let's take a look at that ring. Ancient looking metallic ring with small spikes found at the park's crime scene. Let's go ahead and give it a gander here. Let's see. Looks like those spikes may be able to hold some stuff. I'm not entirely sure just yet. <laughs> if you look at it specifically, let's see here. It looks like we could actually combine this with an item, according to this game. You can combine it with something. Very nice. Or it's just saying that because I have multiple items. Take your time. Hold on, come over here. 
and then I will slowly walk over to it. This is a weird bug. But it's probably, it might be due to, like, new hardware, honestly. Could also go this way. That worked. So we, get, we went to the park. There's the burned neighborhood, the junkyard. The old chap, uh, chapel. So we could go to the junkyard. Uh, the lingerie. I better straighten things out with him later. I have other hmm. things to do. <laughs> of course, of course. Okay. Um, I guess we'll try doing the burned neighborhood again, and then this time going this way. Go in, okay. That's fine, we can just go back into the building over here. That's fine. Okay, we exit. And now let's walk. Let's walk to the place instead. Just walk there, and maybe that'll fix it. No. God damn it. I'm stuck here. Take your time. I can go into here. Can I go here now? The only thing I can think of is saving and reloading. That works fine, but if I try going into that one area, it doesn't work right now. So I'm gonna hope that it didn't matter. What kind of a moron parks there? Cat. Oh, hold on, he's stuck on something. Go, 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 go. Uh-oh. I'm out of here. Uh-oh. I'm out of here. Okay, so I need to go into that alleyway area that it will not let me do. That is the problem I'm running into right now. Okay, let's try it again. This time, let's... <laughs> okay. Let's try reloading it. Let's do this. Let's reload a save. Let's try it. There we go. Holy shit. Okay. 
Um, what? What am I doing? There's nothing here. That was just a cutscene. I can't do anything in this area. I can only leave. There, There is no purpose. It's just... Yep. There's no purpose of this area right now, I guess. Because I can't do anything with it. I guess let me try leaving. No, hold on. Let me... Let me fucking save. Save. Load my save. Now exit. Now go this way. Nothing here. Um... I could try going to the shore again, I guess, and seeing if I can do anything else here. Like heading down this way. Maybe going this way. Going this way. Nice scenery. Going down here. And the body's gone, which means I can go this way. There we go. And now we can come around here and do some stuff here. No time to go fishing. I have things to do. Wait, what do you mean? Fishing's pretty cool. Okay, so this is pointless. There's nothing here. That is kind of weird. You just get a single mention of going fishing for going back the way you came from earlier. No time to go fishing. I have things to do. No time to go fishing. I have things to do. He'll find out. There he goes. I can't really do anything with that either. Um, okay. Well. I don't know. I don't know. Early 2000s PC gaming. What can I say? It's kind of... This is just how games are. This is how PC games are. You never get any explanation for anything. And you just kind of walk around until eventually something happens. Like, I went to the j fucking junkyard here. I can only go one way. There's a car here that I can't do anything with. And if I go over here, my characters will be like, Whoa, that's the hoy. He's going to turn into... Brian from Family Guy. Uh oh. I'm out of here. Yeah, there's I can't do anything with this right now. So I have to like run all the way over here. My only thing I can think of doing something in would be the area in the burned neighborhood. The problem is that nothing happens over here. I have, like, nothing, no indication of what I need to do here. Is there something else I can look at?
I'll admit, you know. Oh. That looks like Ida's last roast. I will admit, uh, like I might roast. admit defeat here and look up a walkthrough of some kind. I legitimately don't know what I am needed to do. I can try talking to this guy again. I'd better let him rest. Okay, or not. Uh. There was a cutscene of my character looking at something over here, right? There was something right here he was looking into, but I can't... There's only one area I can go to. Right here? No, it just takes me here. Wow. I'm... I'm stumped. Um... Uh, I could try going to the park again. They were probably going to tell me the same I thing. Risk talking to her again. Yeah, so that doesn't work. If I come back here, and I try looking at this again. I like this statue. It reminds me of Ida. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. So I can't do anything here. Oh, great. Come over here. Um, old chapel? I don't need to talk to him. Anyways, I don't want to rip out my vocal cords just for idle chit chat. Okay. So the game gave me... I uh, can't do anything with that. Can't do anything there. The junkyard I literally cannot do anything with. It's the only other place I can go to. And the shore doesn't give me anything. And Burned Neighborhood only gave me, like, one cutscene and no explanation of why that cutscene happened. I guess I can search the car again. What kind of a moron parks there? What kind of a moron parks there? I... I... Uh-oh. I'm out of here. Uh-oh. I'm out of here. Well, I need to go that way. <sighs> now let's try checking out the car again. Hold on, my character's stuck now. What kind of a moron parks there? <sighs> Okay. Kubina, open up. We need to talk. Whatever. What do you want? I'd like to ask you a few questions. About? First off, I'd like to clear the air between us. I'm not after your girls. I'm just trying to find the killer, and that's all. 
You expect me to believe that? Yes, I do. Well, I don't. Everyone wants something. Just stay out of my business, McPherson. Yes, I do want something from you, but it's not your girls. Hmm. I'm listening. Let's exchange favors. I'll do something for you so you can see I'm on the level with you. In return, all you have to do is tell that ape that's working for you to leave me alone. Hmm. Actually, there is something you could do for me, McPherson. Ah, uh, okay. I thought so. The gorilla's brother is locked up, isn't he? Yes. Roman is a good resource and is the girl's main protection. Without him, let's just say, if you can spring him out of jail, I'll tell the gorilla to leave you alone. Why'd he get arrested? It was some sort of incident with the police. He supposedly punched one, I heard. So, we have a deal then? Wait, not so fast. Why do you want Peter off your back? I need to talk to the person he's protecting. Ah, Vladana? So she really exists? Yes, she does. Spring Roman from jail and I will let you talk to her. To be quite honest, I figured you'd be more difficult to convince. McPherson, we both win if you get this killer off the streets. When you catch him, business will return to normal. Now go! You're wasting time. That was a little bit better than uh, I expected, so that's good. So now we have a new mission! Hee <laughs> hoo hee hoo hoo! Looks like we can go somewhere different. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm gonna save real quick. Hell yeah. Alright. Awesome. Let's go into the police station. Boom, doom, 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 doom. One of my favorites. The Prisoner of Zenda. How long was that on for? This thing? How long was this on for? Sorry about that. One of my favorites. The Prisoner of Zenda. Prisoner of Zenda. One of my favorites, Prisoner of Zenda. Hello again, my friend. Ah, Mr. McPherson. What brings you here this fine evening? Well, I need a favor. <laughs> I thought so. What can I do to help? I need you to be on the level with me about the Shiner. What do you mean? Come on, Kaz. What really happened? Why do you ask? The man you arrested yesterday, is he the same man that protects Otakar's girls? Yeah, he is. I thought so. I need this man free, because I can get precious information on the case. Can you help me? Yeah, I can help you. But I'd have to ask a favor in return. I would have been insulted if you didn't ask. What can I do to help? Well, it's uh, sort of embarrassing. You can trust me. It's about the black eye, isn't it? Yeah. The night I arrested Roman, I noticed something missing. My, uh, my medal was gone. You have a medal? Yeah, I got a medal for bravery. I saved some children from the fire that happened a couple of weeks ago. a boy. Congratulations. No, thank you. Anyway, I noticed my medal was gone, so I went back to see Apollina. Why'd you go see her? Well... Never mind, I got you. She stole it from me. I have no idea why. Maybe she needs the money. But I need that medal back. My wife is getting suspicious about it. It's my pride and joy. And saying I forgot it at the office just won't be good enough when I go home. Please, get it back for me. I love my wife and kids. I don't want to lose them over something so stupid. Relax, my friend. I got you covered. I'll get that medal of yours. Just make sure that you can free Roman for me when I return. Thank you, my friend. I'll see you later. Well, well, well. Looks like we got the curious case of a crooked cop. <laughs> crooked. <laughs> no. I never figured out what that was. Okay, well, I will go help our friend. Our police officer friend. No, wrong person. Shit. Uh, I think I need to go to the park. I think this is... It's one of these people. Is it her? 
No, no, no. Go back. Is it her? Oh, you again. Stop wasting my time. Wait a second, will you? You are truly annoying. I have information for you. It's about Roman. Interested? What is it? First of all, you're gonna have to give me the medal you stole from Stasek. Why the hell would I want to do that? So you admit it. You did steal his medal. Yes, I did. That son of a bitch didn't pay me, so yeah, I stole his precious medal. Just because he's a cop, he can hump me and leave me without paying? Hell no, not me. Okay, so, what happened? He came to see me when he finally realized that I had it. He started grabbing me and threatened to arrest me. Roman happened to be walking by and he broke up the commotion. He ordered me to go home, so I left. Well, let me finish the story for you. He got arrested for punching Stasek in the face. Now Roman is in jail. So, what do you want from me? I need that medal. Stasek is willing to let Roman out if I get his medal back. Get it? Of course I do. Okay, listen, everybody wins here. Roman gets out, Stasek gets his medal back, and you... And I get screwed for free. Look, I'll pay you what he owes you, okay? It's not the money. Here, just take the damn thing and get out of here. Okay. I'm confused then. I guess him offering to pay her was enough to be like, okay, fine, I'll give it. Like, what? I, if the, the complaint was that you didn't get paid, and then he offered to pay you, your goal is to be the better person immediately to try to one-up the person who is, one, like, just trying to help you. And you were, from the thing that you were complaining, I... Oh my god. I'll take that. I don't know what it was, but I took it. Thanks. I'll make sure to use it. I don't know what it is. What is this? Where is it? <laughs> Hold on. What was that? Was it just information? I guess it was just information. Oh, it was. It was literally just information, I guess. Uh, okay. Interesting. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. It's an article, isn't it? Yeah, it's an article. That's what it was. Okay, I think it was. Here you are, my friend. As promised. Ah, oh, thank you. How about your end of the deal? I'll be right back. Here you are, your new friend, Mr. McPherson. Who are you? Let's just say I know your boss. He's waiting for you at his shop. I'll meet you there later. Whoa, thanks for springing me, mister. You're welcome. Oh, dum, do, dum, do, dum, do, dum, dum. Thanks a lot, Kaz. You're welcome. Thanks, Kaz. Okay, bye. You served your purpose. Now I must go. Okay. Uh, let's go. Hip, 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 hip. Up, hip, hip, up, up, hip, up, hip. So, go tell your brother it's okay if McPherson goes to see her. Okay, boss. Well, McPherson, looks like you held up your end of our agreement. I'm sending Roman to talk to his brother, which will conclude my end of the deal. Thank you for getting me out of there. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. Thanks, and pal. Now, I've just honored my part of the bargain. You may speak with Vladana any time. I misjudged you, Kabina. No, I don't think so. I have my reasons to protect this girl. Here, before you leave, this might come in handy. I got lockpicks. Are you sure you're not a nice guy after all? No, I'm not. Now get out of here. He's just a wonderful businessman. Ow. All right. So I guess we can go to the junkyard. I guess that's where she is, since it was 
protected. I don't know. It makes sense that this is where we need to go, I guess. There we go. Head on through. How to do, partner? Come here, my friend. I'm friend. Okay. Please. Can't breathe. Let go of him, Peter. You're hurting him. I wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. Then just say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Again, you're welcome, my very large friend. Gustav, wait! I want to show you something. Stand here and don't cross this line here. Oh, no, not this again. He always does this with the new guys. So don't move, okay? What's going on? Hey, guys, I just want to talk to the girl. He only likes raw meat. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, jeez. I guess I'll go this way. Oh, I got you. Should have uh, changed the uh, the thing. Oh. Huh. So this looks like it's a code. But what exactly do they want you to do for this? Is it one, two, three? They want you to line them up? Is that what they want you to do? Well, obviously I can't get it in there. So what I might have to do is that? Hmm. Wait, okay. Oh, okay, hold on. We need to bring this down to about here, I think. And then we need to bring this over to here. And then we have to drag all these up here. And then this is three... Right, so four, no, no, wait, four goes here, three goes up here, and then we need to, um, and then there's five. So what if we, okay, so we do this, let's go ahead and drag that there, and we bring this down, let's bring this down, bring this down, no, wait, this over to here, and then we bring two up, and then we bring three and we bring four. So we need to do this, then this, and then we do four, which bring, comes all the way up here, then six can go down here. So five can go over here, six can go down to about here, and now we have five. So we have four, so, okay. So we have five, four, three, Two, one. Or am I not doing that right? One, two, three, four, five, and then there's six. But it looks like it doesn't even fit. So do I need to do something else with this? Like, do I need to move this over here? Then there, and three needs to go there, right? So, I'd have to drag this over like that. And then put that there. Then I can bring this down so I can do this. Or am I, am I overthinking it? I might be overthinking it. Hold on. Okay. 
I think I need to bring this over to here. Then two goes down here. Then three goes up here to here. Then that goes here. One, two, three. Then this is four. Then this is... Then six goes here. Then I guess five goes here. No. Man, I think I'm I think I shouldn't be doing that just yet. I was just seeing maybe if there's like if it's like you're supposed to answer it now or you're not. So we're gonna just let's just kinda do a little bit of some searching before we do anything. The crane seems to be locked. Ah, there it is. So this is what they want us to do. Okay. So I kind of had the right idea. The issue is that I needed to do it right. Okay. So it's one, two, three, and then four, five, six is at the bottom. That's what I needed to do. I was overthinking it a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that puzzle. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm pretty sure I need to do... A little bit more it's a little bit more complicated than this I think because if I try to move that here then that won't work well, actually I think that'll work there we go again I was try. I almost over was overthinking it there again All right. Cool. What are we doing? Is this what they wanted me to do? I can't, I cannot tell. I'm gonna assume yes. Oh, wait. Do they want me to grab these and... What do they want me to do here? Oh no, I'm confused. I am now confused. I want to go back down there. Not a good idea. Peter said it liked raw meat. But I want to go back down there. Okay, fine. Let's try moving them to where we were. So let's move this. Grab this. Two crates is just too heavy. I have to find a way to separate them. I have an idea. I have an idea. Easy. Okay. Easy. Let's go. I think this is what they want you to do. They want you to do some, I don't know what it is, but they want you to do something over here. These crates are chained together. I'll need something stronger than my teeth to cut through this. Okay, so we're going to need 
A lock picking kit. Wait. Combined with this. No. This. So I have a lock picking kit. For what? So I can't These do any. Together. Hmm. I'll need something stronger than my teeth to cut through this. Teeth to cut through this. So maybe we need to. Obviously, I can't get down. So I can't just do that. And I need them to get across to here, which is what they want you to do. So I need to find something around here to open this. Which means I'm probably gonna have to look. Ah. There they are. Cool. Alright, we solved it. We solved the mystery. Hold on, he has to he has to go back so he can do the animation so he's not floating there. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and use the pliers. There we go. Okay, and that should make it easier for us. Nice. Okay. Let us. There's the fucking dog. <laughs> Alright. And now they're normal crates. They're not gray anymore. I'm going to need to move that again, actually. Yeah, we're going to have to move it to here. I somehow didn't notice the perspective. Here we go. Skirt. And then we... There we go. Alright, let's go. Solved, solved the riddle. Fucking <laughs> dog. It's a cute dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Nice. We made it. Whoa. Dog. Jump scare. Who's there? I'm Gus McPherson, PI. You must be Vladan. Wow, we're actually playing. <laughs> we're, we're playing the main character. <laughs> wow. Uh, hello? Hi, sweetie. Uh, am I bothering you? Not at all. I was just reading something and I guess I really got into it. Do you want me to call you back? Really, it's okay. What's up? You don't sound too good. I called her. Oh, Samantha? Yes. I need to talk. I'll be right there. Where can I pick you up? At work. Just come down to the morgue. I still have a little work to do before we go. Okay, you take care. I'll see you soon. Bye. You know, not gonna lie, I'm more interested in the other dude's story than this fucking shit. Oh my god. His story, like, fucking... Whatever is... Gus, he's, he has a way more interesting story than this shit. Wow. Um... I'll be right back. Uh, let me go down. Oh, wrong way. Let me go downstairs. So we can listen to the music. Here we go. This is a little bit easier on your ears, but it is going to be on a little bit on your left ear. So, 
just uh, deal with it for a minute while I go. I gotta go use the restroom. So I'm actually. Did I already save? Oh, okay. I'll just save again just to make sure. But yeah, um, I will be right back. I gotta get used to the little boys' room.
Bruh. Okay. It's been a couple. Oh no, I actually just clicked off. No. What a fool I am. I don't think it's gonna work properly. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Um, is it gonna break on me? No, surprisingly, it didn't this time around. Okay. Hey, Dad. Hi, sweetheart. Did you ever read any of Granddad's memoirs? I've read some of them, yes. Did you find something interesting? Yes, I found his memoir from one of his cases. Oh, really? Which one? It's the one in Prague. Did you ever read that one, Dad? You know, sweetheart, some things are better kept buried. Dad, answer the question. No, I never read it. I asked him once about what happened in Prague, and I could tell it was a very painful memory, even though he did his best to hide it. After seeing his expression, I never wanted to know what happened there. Huh. Did you ever ask Grandma about it? No, I didn't bother either. Like I said before, some things are better left buried. Interesting. Did you know about Grandma? Yes, I did. Where are you going with this? Dad, I wasn't judging. I just wanted to know if you knew. Weren't you going somewhere? Dad, I was going to meet Claire. Ah, Agent Claire Ashby. She's one of the best in her line of work. I always love it when she's on the stand. I hope everything is okay with her. Yes, she's just having a hard time talking to her daughter. I better get going, Dad. Okay, Pumpkin. Victoria, I'm sorry. No, Dad. I'm the one who should be sorry. I should sorry? There. I'm the one who should be sorry. Sometimes I Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Leahy. Ask questions. I'll be back soon. They must be Canadian. Okay, take care. This must be a Canadian game. I want to see. Should I do the? Should I do the cookies? Maybe Dad's trying to send me a message. I'll do them later. <laughs> I'll do them later. Okay, fine. Well, I guess we'll be back here another time. <laughs> Just leave the eggs out. Leave the leave all the uh, stuff out. Never get them cleaned. All right. Welcome back to the modern times, uh, where we have the same shit we gotta do. Okay, so we gotta go to the office. Seems that this is where they want us to be. Let's go ahead and head our way out. Hello? Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. I don't know why I've done that voice every time we're in this area. Let's just head to the basement. Okay. Cool. What the fuck? Bruh. What the? Sweetie! What the hell are you doing? Me? I thought you'd. Oh my god. Go look at the security cameras. Oh my god. Take your time. What are we looking at? There they are. Go, go, go.
damn. This guy knows parkour. Come here, motherfucker. Oh, he's gonna use. She's gonna use a gun. Uh-oh. Looks like the culprit got away. You made a huge mistake. Okay, well. I should probably go save that cool clip. Post it on the YouTube. Ah, sh shit, they don't save them. They probably do. I don't have access to it. <laughs> I'll get it later. That motherfucker just waltzed in here. Hey. Oh. Hey, are you okay? What happened? Yeah, I'm okay. I ran after him. Son of a bitch got away. Yeah. Um, well, the important thing is that you're okay. What's up? <coughs> hey, about. Forget it. It can wait. Uh, are you sure? this is uh the hey, game. Hey, can wait. Really? Um, it's okay. Go. <clears throat> uh. So, what happened on your end? I never thought my own lab would become a crime scene. Uh. The suspect left this, uh, a photo of a young woman, and wrote next on the back. I need to send this to the lab for further analysis. Where was it? He put it inside her. He tore the stitches open just below the sternum and slipped it inside. Do the others know? Yes, I called upstairs and Todd answered. I told him what I know. He's expecting you and he didn't sound too happy. I can imagine. Okay, going upstairs to deal with Todd. Okay, I'll fix the mess down here. I'll tell you if anything turns up. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go, I guess. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that motherfucker just walked in here. And then he just... <laughs> he was in the security room. Why did he went? Okay, whatever. Where was she that entire time? Just kind of hanging out in another room. Hello? Hi, honey. Oh, hi, Richard. You left the gallery in a rush and you never called back, so I got a little worried. Nickelback? Okay. Oh, yes, I'm fine. I'm sorry about that. It's I'm sorry. A victim and some really weird stuff is going on. Oh God. How are you holding up? I'm very tired. I'm in dire need of unwinding, like we did two nights ago. True. That was very relaxing. I have an idea. Come down here, and I can show you the new exhibit. And after we can go unwind. Very tempting, but I have to decline. Oh, why? Well, I have to go get yelled at by my boss. Anyways, why are you so excited about this exhibit? I've never seen you so into your work. Oh, it's because I sort of discovered this artist. Actually, it wasn't just me. Some people from the University of Chicago's Fine Arts Department helped a little. We discovered him at an auction. He's from L.A., but originally from Chicago. His name is Mark Ackerman. The department and I purchased most of his pieces, but we're still looking for some. Anyway, we got enough to make an exhibit... Richard, I'm sorry. I really have to go. I'm sorry. Sorry. You know how I get started. <laughs> yes, I do. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, honey. 
You be careful now. I will. Bye. I am careful. I'm the one who knocks. <sighs> that was awful. Yes, I... He's still on the fucking phone. No, well, <gasps> yes, I know, uh, what the hell is going on? What's this I hear about suspects yes, breaking into the morgue? Agent McPherson and Detective Miller, I want to see you both in my office, now. And while you're at it, one of you can get me a cup of coffee. I don't want to get him a cup of coffee. How about you do it? Don't sweat it, Miller. I'll cover you. Anyways, you have the report to finish. I'll even get his damn coffee. Next on Chicago Vice, Agent McPherson gets the boss a coffee. Miller. Ha 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 ha. Than it already is. By the way, I have some good news. Come and see me after. Can you give me a preview? It's about the data correlation. I think we might have something. You didn't tell. Uh... No, I wanted to check with you first. <sighs> okay, I'll see you after. Why does he have a different computer than me? Is he playing? What are you playing on there? The fuck? That. That does not look like it fits the monitor, whatever you're working with. Grab the mug. This is a puzzle. So. You have to come to this, then you have to go to the machine. Right? And then you look at the mug. And it says FBI Todd. <laughs> and Arial font. Uh... I have no use for napkins. You have all the use for napkins. I have no use for napkins. I have no use for napkins. Well, you're putting a no okay. Napkins. You put a coffee in your pocket, okay? You put a liquid inside of your pocket. A wocket in my pocket. There's a wocket in my pocket. There's a wocket in my pocket. Officer, here's your coffee. Thank you. That is a small mug. In what new way have I pissed you off this time? I distinctly remember asking for both you and Miller. Ah, oh, never mind. I just hope you haven't forgotten that he is your partner. No, I haven't. Okay. Now tell me what happened tonight. The perp entered, I assume, through the garage. Claire already filled me in. I want to know what happened outside. I pursued the perp with the 4x4 into the alleyway. He climbed up a fire escape to the rooftop. When I got up there, he gave me a surprise blow to the shoulder with a 2x4. He got away through the other fire escape. Shots fired? Yes, one. Any leads so far in the case? Besides what the next victim looks like? No, not really. We're not sure of that. Claire is running it through the database to see if we get a hit. Is that it? Because I'd like to get back to work now. Consider yourself on probation. What? Why? I've seen it before. Agents get too involved in their case and lose it. I'm losing it now? I think you're just pissed because we look like schmucks on the news. It's all about image, isn't it? No, this is about your recent behavior. I'm worried about the progress of the case and I think you need a break. This is bullshit. You're oh my god. Proving my point. You know, Brownie, Victoria. I usually get kissed before I get fucked. <gasps> Victoria. No. You can't say that. First of all, you you shot a, a gun into the air. That bullet could hit a child. Have you ever thought about that, Victoria? So, is everything okay? No. Not really. I'm on probation and he'll probably take over the case. <laughs> I'm on probation. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. It's okay. Been there, done that, and bought the t-shirt. What's this big lead you were telling me about? I did what you asked. I correlated the info on victims four and five. I got something, but it may be nothing. Try me. You've said that the last two victims probably knew our perp because he covered their face. Well, I got a name that's common to both victims, a Vaclav Kolar. Also, I tried linking this guy to victims one, two, and three, but no go. Okay. 
Hey, so what happened downstairs? We think the killer broke into the morgue and left us a picture of the next victim. You're kidding, right? I kid you not. A bold SOB, I'll give him that. You should go down and take a look at the picture. Claire needs to do a few tests on it and send it off to the labs. No, I'm gonna make you do that. You think it's safe to go down there? Sure it is. Okay, I'll go have a look. Uh, How did you get the name Vaclav Kolar? I read Claire's report on the fifth victim. In it, she added a picture that was found in the victim's purse. On the picture, there was the victim, a girl, and a guy. The guy reminded me of someone. He's actually one of the people I interviewed for the fourth murder. He was her tutor at the university. I went back to read my own report, and it's the same guy. I'm sure of it. Interesting. Any relationship between the fourth and fifth victims? As far as I can tell, they didn't know each other, but they had this guy in common. Maybe he deserves a second interview? Definitely. I'll go alone. He's seen you before, so it might make things go smoother, make him less nervous. Okay, and I'll give Kolar a visit. I sent the address to your 4x4's Navcom. If I have the chance, I'll go interview the latest victim's friends. Maybe I can talk to the other girl on the photo. Good idea. You know what's funny? Is that we're not even halfway through this game. <laughs> as far as I know. I'm, I'm sure this game is pretty long. Especially if it takes you a while to do the, um... To do the, uh, um... Uh, what do you call it? The, the, like... Puzzles and shit. It can take you a while. I got something out of that. It must have been pictures taken of the fifth crime scene. Those are all the pictures taken. Um, Claire's report. Has all that information. Um, drowning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Alright, so we have all that shit. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and head out. And... Okay. We've done enough for today, I think. I hope this was entertaining. I hope you liked it. Um... Yeah, pretty epic. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I, I enjoyed. Um, let me go ahead and turn this on. Uh, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed. I did. And, um, I might come back to this in the future. It depends on how I feel. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, if I come back to this tomorrow, then we'll come back to this tomorrow. Um, if I don't, then I don't. So, yeah. Bada booski, bada beatski, bada bang, bit of. Yeah. So, yeah. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. And, um, yeah. Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, and a good night. Um, still life forever. <laughs>